Hello, everyone. I actually was more of a fan. No offense, Sean. I liked how Derek started it more. <laughs> I'm going to start more podcasts this way. You know, it's... <laughs> I don't know if I'm being pranked or what, but I've got these shoelaces, man. These... Whoa. Uh, Sorry, I can't curse. Wait, in we're the back first to that? five seconds. seconds. You've totally demonetized the video. Did you know that? We're back to this again. Yeah, yeah we're back to that. We're yeah. back. Isn't that to great? This you gotta wait from it, but don't worry, we're back. Put a well, fucking... that'll be uh, muted or scrambled or something. Put, put a picture of Sean's whole extended ducks. family up in Use front of my us. Anger. I feel like I'm tying my shoes every five seconds here. Everywhere I go, my shoes are st stepping on them. They're getting untied. This is a prank. I feel like that happens to me. A lot. Have you ever heard of double Velcro. knotting? Bro, I do that too. Yeah, Velcro, dude. dude. No, Del I do double knot, and they still come untied. I exclusively double knot, and I am so, never untied. Yeah, these Velcro. Sho these dude. shoelaces are too long. Are you using Velcro? Yeah, that's what yeah. I have happen sometimes. You have Velcro on your. Oh wow, are those Adidas? I don't discuss brand names or anything like that. Like I'm kind of like. Yeah, you do. They're shoes. Okay, I got them at the store. And they're they're Velcro Adidas on them. shoes. Listen, you fuck. Now it's worth being monetized for that one. I just that Derek, was worth it. Derek, you don't have to be all brand loyal like uh, consumerism Chatfield here, but the every Nike makes Velcro shoes as well. You could any brand name. I got um, just trying to solve your problem. I got pump, like pump up shoes from yeah. Reebok, but I didn't like them. I was just like, let me just tie this shit. Why with the brands yeah. again? You have to name it. Yeah. Why can't we name the brand, Garrett? Because we're not being, I'm not, listen. Because the problem is pay faulty up. shoelaces. We're not here fucking exactly. stroking our egos. Ooh, I buy Versace shoes. Oh, my shoes were made by Rolls Royce. I ordered them off. Macari. RollsRoyce.com. It's not like I'm name brand, like saying like I have like a Chanel belt or something like that. Stop I'm with the brand. Yeah, this, oh. yeah I'm just saying that because your Adidas shoes, that's not even like a, that's oh not like God. high end. This if is they, a shoe. If these companies, the type of shoe. if You're they want to so pay consumer, up, we, we'll say their name. But until then, mum's word, oh. we, the only name we should be saying is Mega 64. Yeah, reduce the consumerism. Um, I, I, um, I bought, saying. well, I bought the, I bought the Chanel uh, belt because I, I sweat through my Dude, clothes. That. <laughs> um, I forgot about that video. Lasting. In case you forgot, Got to look up the uh, church, the deposition of the uh, priest that spent like $2 million on clothes and cars uh, for from, from the donations from the church. And why he and needed they, that stuff. And they interview him for 20 minutes, and it's just, that's one of my favorite videos. I put yeah. that on while I work. I just put you, it on loop. You bought eight Louis Vuitton belts? Oh, Lord, yes. Uh, uh, it turned, you know. It's for television. You know, yeah, you have to look nice, and I oh. do travel a lot, and I need extra belts for that. That whenever they'd say like, "Oh, you you bought like ten like Gucci suits," uh, well, I do sweat through my clothes, <laughs> I do. and I'm like, "What is what, you dissolve the clothes?" Like, I just sweat through it. I got to get it for shirt. Jesus, dude, for the Lord. I sweat through. You my ever clothes. worn a Gucci suit? No, I I'm never. Even, I've you, never even touched a Gucci suit. Not even sweat, a T-shirt. You could sweat buckets in a Gucci shoot, shoot a Gucci suit, and, and a Gucci and, shoot, and it won't even. You know, fade. Oh, no yeah. armpit stains, no smell. Moisture the wicking. Gucci fabric absorbs. It, it dissipates smell. the sweat. It's like a it's like a walking air conditioning system, Whoa. the Gucci suit. Is yeah. that true, Kevin? It costs twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> Whoa. But That's it's worth it. That's I've CEO that. level shit though, you yeah. Know? That's boss bitch. Christ like. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Christ like. He was That's he, he bought the most pricey shit just to make sure it was good. Christ yes, well, loved Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Jesus did. Well, Jesus didn't have Louis Vuitton back then, but if oh, they did oh. have Louis Vuitton, Jesus would be decked out in it. Yeah. He, he saw the dude fishing and he was like, dude, you got that's why you gotta buy the nicer pole. Because yeah. at least you'll eat. And he walked away. I was gonna name another brand, but I we said Chanel and Gucci and Louis Vuitton. That's all I know. Is there any more than that? Prada. Um, you looked oh, at Prada. Prada. Just those three. Why are we doing again? Oh, I caught myself in the trap. I'm so <laughs> cucked. Fucking I'm fool. consumer. Uh, guy. Yeah, there's way more brands. Kirkland. Yeah, yep. that's a good one. Massimo, I support that. Massimo. One. Okay, that one's pretty good. Um, no fear. Are they still relevant? They're relevant to me because I don't have it still. What's that? Oh, what are you that's Little at? Caesars, hot and ready. What Shout out Little Caesars. Oh, I thought yeah. that was uh, uh, honorary, it, hot and ready, uh, keeping my head hot I and ready with this Duke. I thought you were rooting for the Bengals. Ooh, and you got a Star Wars sweater on. 
Yeah, what, but that's what indie. What else does this fit? What shirt do you have underneath? Oh, what? Yeah, what pathetic, stupid shirt do I have? Why is Rocco undressing? Mega oh, oh, there's Cyber oh, Monday. Oh, that's what I like because I'm loyal. When I'm loyal that's to our what I brand. Like. What kind of underwear do you got on? Oh! Fruit, fruit of the loop. I just oh, ripped see? his pants a little bit. Zoom in. And what pants? Sorry. Oh, shit. I just That was his laptop. That was his fucking laptop, y'all. He's stomping. Is it okay? Do you have insurance? No. The joke's over now. Yeah, joke's definitely over. No. no. Sean fucking kicked it over. I didn't move! <laughs> Kevin, Why'd you kick fucking that? Fucking theme song. Hello. I believe Cheers. all the uh, clips in that intro are at least 10 years old. Yeah, we look good. At least. Yeah, I think I'm like 28. Yeah. And that thing eating some gak. Yeah, me I Me still in my 20s. I look better back we then. We peaked back then, man. Well, I don't know. You're crying in the, the <laughs> clip that we use. I cry out. But see how, now, like, see how emotionally available he is in that clip? Not like now. You're I think Sean looks better now. I think we all look like, <laughs> peak physical <laughs> fitness condition right now. Yeah, you know, it's like. I'm the fittest I've ever been in my life, baby. I that's true. You that's look good. true, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? And Garrett, are you the fittest you've ever been to? I would say that is definitely a truth. Hey, you two. Yeah. I'm That's, not gonna I'm not gonna yeah. say the word fit in my life or whatever, but I legitimately feel better than when I was in my mid twenties. Well when I was in my mid twenties, I felt like shit all the time. I mean, you know what I mean? Like I put up with I wasn't going, I'm suffering. But you know what I mean? It was like yeah. there are things I put up with that I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what like what'd you put up with? I just Me? felt bad all the time. I wasn't oh. eating I was eating super horrible. I'm not Sleeping. saying I have the world's best diet now, but you know what I mean? Like I mean, I Rocco, legitimately, I remember a time when like you would not... Eating healthy was just not a thing you would, were into. Well, no, no, on no, top no, of that, no. sleep like, schedule. People too. would bring it up to me. I'd go, fuck off. And I keep, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, but, just things like, here and Vegetables, you're like, I don't like them. I'm not going to eat them. I don't like I them. I still don't, but there's some... I but I tolerate. see you eat them so frequently now, whereas before, it'd be like, I'm not eating any of that. You know? Yeah. And you don't yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was like, I, I was like stubborn and joking my way to an early grave or when I was in my twenties <laughs> about it. You know what I mean? I mean, but, I mean, yeah, you, I'm like teens, twenties. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you, you see the delirium in all of us when we would, you know, film personal channel videos at I don't know two four a.m. Mm -hmm. and it was like we were all sleep deprived back then. Yeah, yeah. Because it was that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Now I'm like making sure I get my eight hours a day. <laughs> I'm like definitely on it, and I'm not. Dozing off in the middle of a conversation. Uh, although, literally, we're saying this last night. I did stay up all night because I had like oh. eight ideas for. I was working on a, a couple of videos and I had a bunch of other ideas. And it was like, yeah, I, I so last night was not a good example. Oh. But in general, I'm not doing that like all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like it, that used to be baked into my, like, oh, yeah, that's just what I do. Almost like I relish that. Now I don't. But, you know, if I get swept away, I have the ability to do that, you know, if I want. But I, uh, you know, I have my Apple Watch and I try to close my little fitness rings every yeah. day. Yeah, I, I, I say try. I don't really try that hard. What's I a fitness ring? It, well, if you your Apple Watch has like three rings on it. and like, The activity app. Yeah, yeah, and it's like how many calories you burned, you set a goal. And then it's like how many active minutes you've had in a day, you set a goal. And then how many uh, hours stand. You, you yeah, stand in a day. Yeah. Oh. And so the stand one is easy. That, yeah. you know, that's no problem. Standing and activity should be the same ring. Wasting uh, your time. Uh, well, it's kind of like exercise, that that activity ring. Yeah, yeah, It, yeah, it tracks, thing. like, uh, if you put a workout in, it tracks that as activity. Okay, it also gives okay. you a notification, like, hey, if you just do, like, a two-minute walk, you close your rings, just so you know, like, you know, you're, oh, you're, cool. you're getting close, you know. What? Yeah, this, you know, it's like, okay, I want to close my rings, maybe I'll do that walk, whatever. I was in the backyard, and I was grilling for dinner, and I was alone out back there, and I got a little notification. Hey, two minutes of exercise, you'll whatever. I'm like, that trampoline is right there. I've never jumped in the trampoline. Jumping jacks, baby. Maybe I'll jump in the trampoline and, like, you know, get my blood going, get a couple of whatever. Yeah. I did, like, five jumps, and my back hurt so Yo. bad. It's like, oh, I guess I can't do this anymore. This is why is that the, what happened? these Apple rings are bullshit. They're, mm. they're just being like, hey, go do something for two minutes, and then you just make up an exercise and injure yourself. <laughs> well, I didn't No regimen, no strategy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, fuck, my watch is beeping. Oh, somersaults. Ow! Well, that's, ah! but like, you know, 20s me would have been like. How was your form? Was it like Oh, my form was 
flawless. Because you're beautiful. an athletic guy. Yeah, uh, sure. That's happened to me once as an adult where I got on a big trampoline and realized, oh, the compression of landing is starting to hurt my back. Yeah, which it didn't before. It didn't it, before, but there's a point when you reach like somewhere in your 30s where you go, oh, 20 times of landing now has got something aching that never has ached before. Like, well, what's Hulk Hogan said that his finisher, the leg drop. Oh, yeah. Shaved three inches off of his height. Oh, what? he's three inches shorter than yeah. he used to be. Is he compacted his spine? I believe it. Oh. Every night he does a leg drop and he falls on his ass. I believe it. I um, uh, Damn, brother. But, you know, training, core strength, building up the muscles can. It's the fountain of youth. You yeah, know, you yeah, can have the really body is. of a 20 year old. I speaking of wrestling, watched wrestling. I watched the Royal Rumble. I last did too. Night, but I I watched the the female Royal Rumble. I watched the uh, first match, the male Rumble. Now I didn't. I thought that was the second match. I was all geared up, ready for it, and then it's like the main event, and then it was not what I wanted at all. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck about that. But the Royal Rumble, like I don't. My whole family watched this, and we're all screaming at the TV, having like the best time watching it. That's so unusual. I didn't think you guys were a, a WWE we're fan. We're not or... wrestling fans, even in a little bit. But I feel like the Royal Rumble is the one event where it's fun, and it's just like it's the most sport, sporting like competition in wrestling that I know of, where it's like thirty people trying to do this one, you know, one thing, and then whoever well, wins wins. The Royal Rumble is fun because. Uh, the stars come new, out. New people can watch the Royal Rumble, and it's very simple to understand. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like and that's they all go for in, us. yeah, and they <laughs> try to throw each other over the top, and the last person in there wins. Yeah, right. And it's like we watch this, and we don't have, we don't know anyone that we're watching. You don't know Ray Ripley? No. Oh, but man. I do know that like when someone comes out, you know, Becca will go, "Okay, I'm going for that girl." It's like, "All right, cool." And then like someone, and then we all choose our person, and then we watch, and it's. I had so much fun watching this. That's it was awesome. awesome. Yeah, I had a good time. I was surprised at all the, um, I guess, like, big moments in the wrestle uh, match. Logan Paul, I saw, uh, made his return to WWE. He's been in it before? Yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Like, wait, what? Did I miss that? But mm. Homeboy has it figured out. He fucking skipped over. He started the boxing thing, and now he's moved on. He's into wrestling. He's, uh, he's ahead of the game. I got to give my props. I'm not giving. I never thought I'd say it. No, don't. He pulled a move off that impressed me, and uh, it was it was quite a spectacular event. I want to throw to um, Rocco. What do you think about Logan? uh, Well, I I just have two questions. Uh. Uh, One, thoughts on the Royal Rumble. Two, thoughts on the career and and uh, success of Logan Paul. Uh, my my mind was figuring out how I'm getting on that Mickey Mouse ride this Wednesday. What? what? My brain my brain was going through the queue, going, would it be shorter nice. if I went if hey, in the morning? Uh, something people are dying to hear our opinion on is anybody here watching The Last of Us on HBO? Uh, yeah, I think we did. We talk. About, we talked we, about we, it, but oh, we, yeah. they had only aired the first one. At yeah, that point. yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. on the second episode now. Who's who's watching it? Garrett, are you watching it? I am, but I, we're still talking about Royal Rumble over here, right, Sean? I mean, no, I don't care. I, mean, oh, okay. I just have my piece. Sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. Finish up your... No, I did, no, I was, I'm telling jokes. I am all caught up. It's sad that it's on like right when this show's on. Mm. You know, it airs Sunday oh, at 6. Now? Yeah. Son oh, of a bitch. So, uh... Wait you know, a second. Yeah. They're gunning for the number one video game show yeah, on Sunday why, night. Why are they coming <gasps> They're after They're fucking like gunning for us. Yeah, that's hey, like which, a Hey, which camera is on? Hey, hey, HBO? Uh, uh. Uh-oh. What's your fucking problem? Oh. Yeah, you guys got beef? What's you got, on? You Home got beef office? You trying to start something? Listen up, Neil Druckmann. <laughs> Yo, Druckmann. Uh, Yo, Druckmann. Yeah, hey, Neil <laughs> Druckmann. You're about to be Neil fucked up, man. Oh. 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 We're then your little show and film it. You're about to be the last of you. Oh. No, what, yeah. Yeah. You, that's not what you want. By the way, uh, your fan base, they're busy right now watching this show. Oh, oh. they're going to get yes. zero, get episode, Last of Us episode three, zero, yeah. zero point zero. I have a recommendation oh, for oh, Neil oh, Druckmann oh. and uh, the guys and gals at HBO. Uh, you want your show to make a season two? You might want to move the time. Yeah, let's move it an hour. Um, How does that sound? I suggest yeah. you move it up an I hour. Suggest Pray you, you don't get an accident with a golf club there, Druckmann. <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, HBO. A little, little, little tennis elbow, a little yeah. golfing accident. Hey, I don't know HBO. what can happen. You ever heard of a little show called uh, The Sopranos? <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let me it's tell a, you about We're going to reenact the ending. <laughs> we're going to unplug. Don't stop. <laughs> the last. The last Neil, Neil, you better not order those onion rings for the table. Yeah. Let me tell you. I'm Remember saying. the good times. Uh-huh. Your show might suddenly just cut out. <laughs> well, now that he's scared. Yeah. Yeah. Put the uh, see if it airs next week. <laughs> yeah, I can't we'll see. I guess the countdown is on. So the big news was it was just picked up for season two. Yeah. yeah. Um, which yeah. Uh, it's no surprise. Yeah. Are they going to do Last of Us 2 for season two? That's Th what I That's think. what I have that heard. Like, That's yeah. It sounded like that, which is going to be real fun to see all the viewers go through that again. Oh, I, I got to keep this um, a secret from now my Now we get to see the, the parents' reaction. I know. Now we get to see the non-gamers' reaction. It really is because really like my mom and dad are watching the show. They're yeah. like, wow. Yeah. Can you believe what happened? I'm like, I, you know, I, I played that part a few times. So, yes, I, I believe it. But I, I have a feeling like that this show is intended for two people, people who played the video game and their parents. Uh, it's oh, a, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 And for all the people who, okay, look, you're not going to play the fucking game. All right, fine here. But you know what? I do see their plan now. I know other people have said this already, but it, this was smart. I think, uh, sorry, I'm dying. Um, I was going to, uh, well, I was saying back when I remember we did our black Friday stream. Yeah. I was talking about, man, they're all, they already remade the last of us for PS five. Did we? The game was already playable. You could. It was already backwards compatible totally on PS5. Was, yeah. Did you need to remake it? And I see what they're doing. It's so smart that like that game is readily available on all shelves, mm -hmm. everywhere, and online. Obviously for download, where it's like people are watching the show and they're like, "Damn, this is pretty good." And they have a there's a new game on the shelf. Right. You know what I, I mean? Like it's, I it's saw ready to buy. Told. the the sales for it are up like two thousand yeah, percent or something really? like that. Yeah. And 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 so I was like, "Damn, there was they had a synergy machine going on that." And I keep hearing rumors that. Sony behind the scenes is remaking the first Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn, which wow. again, do, this isn't even that old of a game. You need <laughs> yeah. to remake the that. The first one was pretty good, but the, I then I keep seeing news stories. Oh yeah, Netflix picked it up as a series, so I wonder if it's the same thing there, where it's like, but, look, the a polished up version of it will be out um, when yes. the shelf is out, and I'm or when the sure show that is there's. Out studies to show that the witcher three sold well when mm -hmm. that show came out yeah. mm -hmm. and that castlevania sold well when castlevania the show comes out because these shows are yeah. like the ultimate commercial for video games totally yeah. man yeah yeah um but anyway it's just it's just interesting it, it never occurred to me before maybe that plan but uh i've been really enjoying uh, the second episode i enjoyed uh i think i enjoyed mm -hmm. even more because i didn't know they were going to keep going with this angle of, so I'm not going to totally spoil anything if you haven't seen it, but uh, I love that there's still this Chernobyl vibe angle to it that I thought was only going to be in the first episode. Like, oh, they kind of set up what the infection is. Okay. Yeah. And now the second episode, they're in, they're in, as soon as it starts, they're in, a, you're in another country and we're at the root of like maybe where it started oh. and like, Ooh, uh, are we, do we know if it's happening? Yeah, this is bad. What do we do? I don't know how much we can do that sense that again, that same thing Chernobyl had where it's right. like, fuck, this is so much worse than anyone is realizing. It's yeah. so where do we even go? Yeah. yeah and, uh, again, these are things that were not in the game. No. These are totally original to the show. So yeah, there's of course scenes. Mm. It follows the general story of the game, but getting these wonderful little things in between that uh, to me has been like, I'm digging this. Also so. the fact I, that I enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, it's the guy who made Chernobyl and the guy who yeah. made Last of Us together. Yeah. It's it a, does it's, it seems seem, like a good team. Up. It does seem like it's a pretty sweet Cause, collaboration. Because yeah. I I am feeling like I'm getting a big spoonful of both. You know, all all the Last of Us shit we finally saw um clickers in this new episode. And, uh, and you know, and so that was kind of like, people were kind of waiting to see how that was going to unfold or whatever. And that was great. And then, yeah, these Chernobyl moments that are like, yeah, they're not video gamey. They're just like world crisis shit, Dep especially after the shit we've been through in the last few years yeah. hits home even harder. It's like, yeah. it oh, seemed to me man. from what I saw, which I have only, again, I hasn't, I haven't watched anymore. I've been watching yeah. so many other things, uh, like RRR or like, this things for work. Yeah. But that's that short. <laughs> But I haven't had time mm -hmm. to to watch this, but I want to. I, I yeah. really am enjoying it. But it it really does seem like you know, in a video game, you can't have those cutscenes of things you don't care about. It's like, yeah. well, what, what am I watching? I'm playing this as a character. Let me just keep playing. Yeah. But this is perfect. It's, it's the perfect way to expand yeah. on the story and yeah. and grow that world by showing you that hey, look, 
here's some flashback of someplace in a different country. And yeah. And then have, how they already made it make sense. Yeah. Like how like, oh shit, like I get why how this could happen. And like so easily they did that and it's yeah. like, oh fuck. And then it, you're invested. Yeah. But also too, I will say you also run the risk of you do. There is a risk too of going too, too far with it. There's some stories that don't need that extra backstory. You know, you know what I mean? I mean, it's midi chlorians in Star Wars. You know, it's like, oh, let me explain mm-hmm. how the force works. Nah, we're good. We didn't need that. Um, there's always a risk of that. And the last of us game played that really well. It's like you heard all the news reports, but that's all you're given, right? Like something happened. That's all you really need to know. But th- this show is actually, I think doing it right. Where it's, it, it's like a compel, there's a compelling relatable thing going on. I mean, you still don't know every aspect of it, but you're seeing, um, it's kind of, kind of the Willy Wonka effect where you're going to, what are, what are people going uh, through around the world trying to get a golden ticket? Well, here's this guy, here's a, a gambler who's trying right. to get it. Here's this woman, you know, and, and you're feeling the dread the world feels. Um, I think they're doing a great job. So yeah, I really like the second one. So the, the only thing that sucks is because it's airing right now, every week you're going to, you know, if we give our take on, oh, that last episode was really good. You're, you're already on to the next one. So that's true. Sorry, everyone. We're, we're, we're going to be a week behind. Doing our best. Yeah. No. That's okay. I we mean, nobody wants to have it spoiled for them. That's it's probably true. That's best true. to be a week behind. Give them that's a chance. True. That we is just, a good point. I mean, we can always play the episode during the recording, too. I think that would yeah, be Yeah, we could do a watch along. Easy to do. Like, MC Chris does not come out to do the show until the episode's over. Yeah. That's true. I don't know what that means. There, I think uh, I had been told there was a concert where MC Chris didn't come out until the Lost Finale was <laughs> It was over. the finale, so... So, so there, the, the opening band was like... Yeah, we we're supposed to be done like an hour ago. Okay. Oh no! Do we have more songs? Do we? And it was yeah, he wasn't like, coming out. On. And then he came out and and ranted about the lost finale for for an hour. <laughs> that um, sounds instead like of songs. A they, killer time. That's want, just what I've heard. I wasn't there. I don't know if that's true. They I really know. wanted Stop to hear the uh, MC Chris slander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah. he's he's had it hard enough. No. Hey, um, uh, but real quick before we get off Last of Us, yeah. I just wanted to say that I did a really fun thing last week on the PPS. I played The Last of Us Part 1. Nice. And oh. went through, because everyone's got the show fresh in their minds, so we went through where the first episode ends. Oh, cool. And, and just you- played that opening and, like, beat by beat compared what we had just seen in the show to, like, what we were playing and in the game. And are you going to keep doing that? Uh, no, it was no. just, like, a fun time. Since the show just started, it was like, hey, let's let's try to get, like, the first two episodes into our program tonight. And I bet like, people would really like you to continue doing that. I bet they would, too. Yeah, but well, why not? Well, because I... I'm not going to play next week. <laughs> I'm going to play something else. <laughs> well, I mean, sorry, I could, everybody. Hey, right. You know what you should have done, Garrett? Though, I could do that. I'm not trying to. I'm not ready it. to play that. Honestly, I'm, um, I, I don't want to get burnt out. Like we talked yeah. about this before, but it's yes. peak fucking last of us, which is also yeah. seven year old game or something. Like it was Ten. a PS3 game. 10. Ten. Fuck. So this In has June, been, be 10. you know, we're reaching fucking burnout. So I, I, I just don't want to keep playing. it. I but. agree with you too, Garrett. I I've always been a fan of these games, obviously. Yeah. But even when they were announcing the show, I was, I was feeling like a little bit of last of us fatigue. Like, I, yeah, I've been, that's like, the word. I've been fatigue. around this ser- these two games for like 10 years. I love them, but I got, but then once the show actually started, sure. I'm like, okay, I'm in. This but is as a one-off but, episode, like, yeah. it was fun to play through the whole opening yeah. and play through to where, like, the second episode started. Yeah. And it was like, oh, this is a little different. This, it, I can't wait to see this. And Yeah, and I'm actually, I am actually waiting. I didn't play this new remake or anything. Okay. Because it's getting a Steam release in March. Because ah. now, as people at home may not know, I am Steam cucked now uh, because they confirmed it'll play great on Steam Deck. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll get it on that. That'll be great. Totally. Be fun. I got, uh, speaking of which, they... Titanfall 2 was like three. Again, I'm new to the world of Steam sales, guys. Titanfall 2 was like three dollars. Mm. Great game. Um, and I told myself I would not fall back into Red Dead 2. I was like, no, I put like a billion hours into that on Xbox, I think is what I played it on. I'm not do I'm not doing that. That's cool. It's portable. I'm not doing that. And then yeah, it was like less than twenty dollars this week. I'm like, oh, oh I will no. not bring myself to rebuy a game I already own. Really? But what uh, if you, I just what, won't. If I want to play, I won't do it all the time. But it's if physical. I, if, yeah. If I, but if I if I want to play it all around, like like I I could be going to PAX and fucking playing Red Dead. That's pretty. What about cool. like a game that you bought for PS3 that you know you wouldn't do that again? I mean, it have to be under three dollars, or else I'm gonna go. No, I'll just put it in my PS3 and play it on. Do my you have a Steam Deck? Yeah. Big ass TV. Yeah, I got a Steam Deck. 
Do you, what do you play on there? I play Signalis. We were streaming that uh, two weeks ago. Mm. I play... But you don't um, play any games that you are already own because you... No. I want to play like Steam games that I can't play on my PS5 on oh. the Steam Deck. It was like... To have the whole ecosystem would be great. You but know? like, you know, me- Phantom Pain. You I know, that's the thing. Like, Phantom Pain's on there, and it's want, cheap. You wouldn't want that to I, have portable? I, I played a ton of Phantom Pain on there. Yeah, I know. A lot of people <laughs> I, did. I went to, I was stuck in line for like the, when I went to uh, some exhibit. Where was I? And I had to wait two hours in line uh, to get in. And having that with Phantom Pain, and I did so many missions, and I had my AirPods in. That was the, um, the night that I kept having to face, hey, you, yeah, is that fun? <laughs> oh, the Steam yeah. Deck was new yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. People kept telling me to pause the thing. Is that fun? Having yeah. a new yes. electronic within the first week is like, I, I want to hide that thing from mm. from public eyes, because or else you get that. But I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna call you guys out. Sure. You guys have, t- Sean. Yeah, I think you're gonna be with me on this because we had this discussion last week. Derek, I don't know where you're gonna sit, but I know where Sean's gonna sit. Okay. okay. They have, these guys have too many rules with port the portable gaming shit. Because we talked about this last week, hmm. and Kevin had all these stipulations. I won't. I will not take it anywhere. I specifically play it under the my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> the lights off. That's the only. I place take I'll it play places. Games. It just. I never touch it. I don't know why. Yeah. I, like I'll bring but my switch what, on a trip. Because you can't break. I'm with you. I'll never touch it. And I'm like, why am I keep bringing my switch everywhere yeah. when I never touch it? Yep. He won't break the rules. Uh, and then Garrett said the same thing just now. Sean and I were. We're bros. Well, we, yeah. We're taking ours to the Padres game. We're not even looking I at the pl- game. You bring your That's, switch to the Padres oh, game? Oh, all the time. Oh, whatever. Yeah, no, I do. I see you on the plane. Yeah, I'm like, yo, check out Animal... Hey, hey, Manny Machado, check out my Animal Crossing world. He did say that. And Manny looked and was like, cool. Yeah. Hey... Now, wait, Derek, do you, be- do you believe that story? Hey, Jerks and Profar, yeah. you're never going to believe this. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> yeah, what? Who? He's not Padre anymore. So Who forget. was it? Say the name again. Jerickson Profar. Just call someone guy a jerk. Yeah, I know Jerickson Profar. It sounded like you made that name up. Oh, come on. Jerickson Provo. Who, who is that? Hey, Hassan Kim. Check out this cool. Wow. Wade Ray 64. <laughs> hey, I heard that GoldenEye yeah. came out, and then I just kept thinking, oh, fucking again? Rocco. What, wait, what was it? Derek, one of you guys were right when you're like, this game is not good. <laughs> Someone said that. Did you, did you it, play it? It no, because it can't. No, I did not. But That's it came what back out. Saying. But everyone's like, I, "Where's that game?" And then one of you two was like, "I don't think they're releasing it because they know that game is not very good." And it, people remember it fondly, but it's not. It didn't hold up. Did you, did you say this or am I crazy? This happened in this there? room last week. Because I, I have all I, I have always been a stick in the mud on that game because I didn't play it when I was young either. So I've always just kind of been like. Mm. I never really had a thing for it. And I think maybe I suggested that. Like, hey, I don't... Because I didn't know how well it would hold up. Um, what I've heard... I don't know if anyone watching this in the chat or anything has their own take. But I feel like that came out... I don't know if you guys are aware. It came out on Nintendo Switch and Xbox. Yes. And it was always in a weird standstill because Rare made it, but they're owned by Microsoft now. Uh, but then it, it was it was a debate. Does Nintendo own part of it? Because it was a Nintendo game. It was a weird thing. And the deal they worked out was this is so it, bad. It can come out on both Switch and okay. Xbox, but Nintendo said we get online play exclusively. What isn't that fun? Xbox, like they practically, when it comes to online play on console, they invented that. Yeah. Nintendo's online is non-existent, and, and exactly. yeah, Nintendo's is is Nintendo's. Um, <laughs> so everything that I've heard, and again, I don't know if anyone watching has a different experience. Everything I've heard is. It controls way better on Xbox, and it's like 4K. Like it's crisp on Xbox. Looks and plays good, but no online play. Uh, but people, if they're just playing on their own, seem Couch to like that co-op. better. And then on Switch, people are like, "Yo, this uh, the online shit is not very good. <laughs> Barely <laughs> it works. Seems like, and the controls aren't as good. It seems like people are having a bad time on Switch. I but think you I don't can know. only play your friends. You can't just go into a team. Like you can't just start a match and it uh-huh. teams you up with people. I think you just have to play your friends. Oh, um, yeah, that's the worst switch. Yeah, their, their online play is still like not mm. not good. They kind of got to figure it out with Splatoon, but even that is kind of menu crawling to get into the right type of games. Mm-hmm. Um, the Xbox version seems like it's a way to go because the funnest that game ever was was couch co-op. Yeah, like, when yeah, you yeah, had yeah. four people in the room yeah. all huddled around that little N64 because the cables were only like that Dude, long. I'm so tired. So Beckett just got that Gotham Knights game. 
You know, yeah, that was yeah. a new multiplayer. Yeah, it's, it's so multiplayer, he's right? amped. He's like, hey, I got this. I got a controller. Me and you were going to play this game together. I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, awesome. And then it's, oh, no local co op, only online. I'm so. Oh, sick yeah. of that. That's Why yeah. is that a thing? Yeah, I I, I, I honestly kind of felt like that had been done away with a little bit. I felt like enough people had said Complain. something where what, it's like, yo, no, we want local. Why can't local. you? Why would you not include that if you already have a, a co-op mode? It yeah. might not be able to render everything split screen like as good or uh, who knows? That's weak. Take your shit out. That's weak. Uh, Halo, when the new Halo came out end of 2021, it was supposed to have like, oh, co-op through the whole game like you you and another person could play through the whole campaign oh, the whole wow. story and then it got closer and closer and like two days before it's like yeah so that won't be in it but it is coming free update don't worry we just need a little more time to get it ready okay do you know when that update came no last month really it was, it was one Fuck. year later it took Damn, one year Damn, i got close to beating that i mean you should get in now and do beat it together there you go we can do that mm-hmm. 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 it was a, uh, open world halo sort of open world it was. You could, you could find like caves. Oh, I didn't know there was a cave there. It's got no. a gun in it. Uh, February 17th, Board Game Olympics. 18. Make a 64 Board Game Olympics. Is it the 18th? Mm-hmm. Wait, I thought it was on. Hold on, I gotta check. The Saturday. Calendar. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. You had all of our gold and I talked to, you know, research. No. Hold on. I think it is. The- Maybe I'm wrong. Uh oh, I might be wrong. No, you're right. Okay. February 18th. Mega 64 Board Game Olympics is coming back. Mark your calendars. It's the competition of a lifetime. And uh, who was the champion last time? Oh, you're looking at him. You won that and the Christmas cast yeah. the same I, year? I didn't realize that. I've been cleaning up. Once you guys started offering <laughs> gift cards, you I'm like, oh, fucker. okay, I'm motivated now. Oh, I hate that for you. Uh, but now you have a chance to redeem yourself. All of us get to go head to head. That's true. We <laughs> are uh, so excited to bring you. Well, I'm going to be the one redeeming myself because uh. I was the champion first year. You were. That's right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was the people's champion. Okay. And uh, I'm making the promise now that if I do win, I am going to spend it entirely on the fans out That's there. That's right. I'm going to buy. Oh. Amazon gifts off Amazon for the people. The people's fan is returning. So you have a chance to get yeah. your Amazon wish list uh, all bought up. Get it, Yeah, get it ready. Get get some ideas going. Because when that day comes, you Santa make If, if Derek wins. You. Did Lord uh, Divius. Yeah. Let me also make the promise that if I win, I'm going to spend it all on um, the kids. What are you going to get the kids? Uh, what are you going to get for want. them? All right. What do they want? Do not want Sean to win. What you do know, they want? What do they want? What are they asking for? Um, yeah, let's no. get a list. What's, what's the most important thing in Chocolates, your kids' hearts candies, right now? Toys. If you can name it, I'll, you, maybe we'll get it for I'll them right now. I'll buy it for them right now. Yeah, what yeah, do they yeah. want? We're ready. Me and Derek are ready. <laughs> yeah, let me know. If Derek wins, he could buy can stuff you, for your legitimately, kids. Can you buy Universal Studios tickets on Amazon? Because I would do that. Is that what they want? Well, that's what I want to... I mean, that's what, what you should have said. He should have said that from the beginning. He's going to take them to Universal you know, Studios. You know, yeah, can you do that on Amazon? Because I will do that. No. no, You can't? I looked at it this way. Last year, I told you guys... Do you remember what I said I was going to get if I won? What did you say? A, a new fridge. A new fridge. Did and you get it? Did you yeah, get it? I did. Nice. The way yeah. I justified, I can't buy a fridge through Amazon. I probably could, but I bought a new fridge and then I used the Amazon money to like buy groceries or just normal shit I would need. Uh, so you switched to so money. So I kind of like basically, yeah. yeah. Uh, so just do that. Just, you know. Yeah. Okay. You can get universal tickets on there. They're just not real. Like they're they'll be they'll be fake. They oh work. shit. <laughs> um, if I win, if I win, I'll tell you right now. Um, I've been really trying to be conservative with the um, Avatar figure collection. I oh will my god. Definitely finish it. Oh if wow. I win, what are you missing? I'm missing uh, the head of the Omatakaya clan. Oh no no no. I'm sorry, dude. I misspoke. The Metkayina clan. Yeah. The head dude, Cliff Curtis's character. I I don't yeah. have him. Matakawak. Uh, and then there are other ones from there's figures from the first movie. I don't, I don't think I want those. What's the name of the whale with one fin? <laughs> uh, well, he's Nemo. a tool tool but, uh, his specific name. Ooh, I'm drawing a blank. He's right like now. an outcast. Yeah, you right? know, he's a tool So um, I'll give you points for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they haven't sold that yet. They haven't sold the whales. Oh man. So they're they're tool 
if they if they're going oh sorry did you see there was an interview uh james cameron got pissed that people kept calling him whales <laughs> this is legitimate he was like he said he said well first of all he ass. pulled a will i am he's like they're not whales one he said uh, he's like no we said he's like this movie we set up how intelligent they are how thoughtful they are they have they know music art whatever and you're just gonna see more of that um these are definitely not whales it, it's wrong to call them you that. D uh, this fucking guy James Cameron pisses me off <laughs> James Cameron like yeah you make movies then people seem uh, to like them but top three, you're just so yeah, fuck you top he's so fucking money, into money himself I can't stand him what'd you say Kevin I think he has the top three spots for the most I think he, he does one, he has one uh, two and three he, in the the, damn. the new movie is number four now so he has three of the four what, what's the uh, what's the, what does he need a beat still uh, 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 Avengers Titanic is above this no then, shit. Then Titanic's Avatar. three, then then oh. uh no, that Avengers Endgame is two. Avatar one is one. So he That's can crazy. have the top three. This is the best he could do. Yeah. His top three or four. That's the best he can uh, do, James. I don't know. His next movie might topple Avengers. Mm. <laughs> um yeah, you know, he just is such an asshole. You what? know, what? I just he's rich. You I, just, I just oh, I Piacan is the name he of He makes it. his oh, own stuff of the good I for him. One fin. But man, he just seems like he's just too into himself. I just can't deal with nah, that. Nah, dude, that's where are you a, getting this that's from? That's big dick energy, his Sean. His interviews, yeah. His overall, like you know, that's demeanor. His, his wallet's all right, and he's got confidence. He does have confidence, and it turns out that when he says things that seem ridiculous, like yeah, it's going to be one of the highest quizzing moments of all time because it has to be. <laughs> you look like an idiot, and then he does it. So it's like, well, he's <laughs> yeah, the idiot. I mean, seems to work. I guess you did it, but I just. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. Anyway, but, but moral of the story is don't call the Tulkoons whales. Just that, don't. And that's really what it comes it. down what to. What was the name of the guy? Fuck off, it's the a main whale. One? Don't make him look like a whale, James. Piacan. Piacan? Piacan. Piacan. Hey, bro. Piacan is not a killer, cuz. Yeah. He's, he's He didn't kill the Navi, bro. It's like Why did James theater. Cameron make them all sound like they're fucking like... Jake Sully taught him how to talk, but, you know? Okay, so in Avatar... Spoil, I'm going to spoil Avatar if you haven't seen it. Wave of Water 2. Spoilers coming up. The, the teenage Avatar dies, you know? Yeah. And yeah. at the end, Jake Sully attaches his braid to the to the spirit tree underwater, and yeah. he has that vision where he sees the his dead son fishing mm -hmm. as a kid. Yes. But the yeah. kid's like, Papa, I caught a fish! <laughs> and then it's like Flash, and he's old, and he's like, What's up, cuz? Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro, dad. What's Jake up? Sully gave him TikTok. Yeah, and I was just thinking, like, at what <laughs> point did up. the Navi learn? Like, at, you were a cute kid, but then you adapted this, like, East LA, like, <laughs> fucking, like, high school yeah. fucking slang. Yeah. I don't. Why did they talk like that? Why did they keep going, you good? Yeah. You know, that was kind of weird. By the way, he's talking about Nateum, not Loak. Yeah, Nateum. Nateum don't, don't mix the, don't mix the brother. Nateum up. was the one who had the final beat of his song string. Added in way of water. Yeah, he passed. So they added the song string. The final beat of his song string. Did you hear, uh, dude? The actor who was the nerd, the lab nerd. Yeah, the white guy, the from the first movie. You know what I'm talking about? Lab nerd. He's still he's an avatar. Yes, he's James a tall. Cameron. He's a gork. No, I don't remember. The guy. He's who, like a tall the, geek. He's yeah, a the gork. geeky guy. He yeah. was in the first movie. James he's in the new one. Yeah. <laughs> no. But uh, he had a baby right when the movie started uh, filming. Oh, yeah. and they were like, oh, we need a baby for opening of the movie. You want, you want me to be in the movie? Uh, okay. That's so the baby they hold up? Yeah. Underwater so they, shit? they CG'd it blue. <laughs> like, like they held it up. They were like, can we put a couple dots on his face? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. And then that's the blue, <laughs> oh, that's the avatar bait or the yeah. Navi baby in the opening of the movie. And the, the guy is just like, man, that was fucking weird. <laughs> that's that, cool. that movie starts and suddenly my, like, babe. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Now is he gonna be like the kid from the Nirvana Nevermind oh, album be and be all mad? You can see, like, see my little Navi I didn't tail. consent to this. My did dad's any, an asshole. Did anybody notice that uh, one of the tool coons was tatted up? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The mother the, whale was like covered in tats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so was the person that they were bonded with. Yeah, I think that you bond with them and you get a tattoo. As, I don't. Know. I want a whole three-hour movie of that. The, the Navi tattooing the, the, whales, and that was hand. They're not whales. That was the, traditional. The Tulkun had an appreciation for art. Like I said, they said art, music. Their their uh, emotional center yeah, and their no, brain is way that. bigger than ours. I get that. So you're gonna get way more of that. Uh, I think one of the Sean, you might remember this. I uh, definitely will. The next. Avatar movie is called The Seed Bearer. Oh, I remember oh, yeah. that. He knows. Uh, and then I think the one after that is actually called The Tulkun Rider. But 
So I think we're going to get back into but, what's going on with these whales. Garrett, oh, sorry. You have tattoos. Sure, so I do. you have the experience. Yeah. Could you imagine a whale sitting for a tattoo? Dude. Like and how underwater? What kind of needle are you using? It, yeah. This so like fine. how did they tattoo? So this is what I'm saying. The more I think about the whale tattoos, <laughs> right. the more hey, my mind breaks. It's a and fucking jackhammer for the needle. Well, it's no, going to be huge. Can That's I break your mind even more? Yeah. Okay. The Navi on Pandora are using, you know, not uh, advanced technology. Yeah. No electricity, nothing like that. These are hand poke, Sticky traditional poke. style tattoos. Sure. Yeah. They take hours upon hours longer than just a regular up and down needle in yeah. a gun. And you can't do that underwater. I don't think you can. So they had to Unless beach. you know the way of water. They had to beach that fucking tulkoon. <laughs> they did. Maybe. And he could probably only stay out of <laughs> but water a certain amount of time. Hoist but, those stupid fins oh, yeah. with ropes. Drag that fat ass <laughs> fish onto the beach. <laughs> fucking start pounding the tattoos. In. Shit, the mom's all there looking in that giant eye being like, you good? You yeah. need you a good? sandwich? You need a break? You need a burrito? Are you feeling you faint? <laughs> They're just sitting there. <laughs> but, <laughs> let's, but let's boil it down to what it is, though. Like, you're, at, you're wondering, how's that possible? Let's boil it down to the facts. Not a whale, number one. one, and it would be wrong to even call it that. It's a tulkoon. Yeah, it's a yeah. tulkoon, and they're so much smarter than any of us. I get it. Yeah, I get James it. Cameron, so though, you don't get it. Here's my problem: he spent 14 years thinking out every little detail of this movie, but he farted out that the whales have tattoos <laughs> and moved on. Yeah. And he didn't fucking think that that's shit why, out. That's why I'm waiting for the tulkoon rider. Maybe that. Maybe the fourth hey. one. Plot yes. hole. Did you, James? If there's not an hour-long subplot of how the <laughs> tattoos get yes. on the tool coons, you fucked up. Uh, I do want to say there was. I told the fourth one. I think is the one called the Tool Coon Rider. I think. I think I said this before, but there uh, there's an interview with James Cameron where he said it's the only time I gave a script to the studio, and they he said I handed them the script. They said holy shit and handed it back to me with no notes. So that's the only time in my for career movie? For, for the fourth four. avatar. Oh he God. said this, he said, they, they said this one kicks so much ass. They're just ready for me to make they it. They said that. And then they started, said, can we blow you? I said, nah, it's not necessary. Cause it was so, so good. So, <laughs> so someone, someone asked, but Sean, uh, he has a perfect track record. I know. So someone asked, uh, his producer, John Landau, I think his name. Okay. Uh, Martin Landau. They, yeah. could have been him. John Landis. Uh, they asked him like, yo, that, what did, you know, what did James Cameron say about that? Like, like, is that true? What What's the fourth one? What's the deal with the fourth one? And this is interesting. He said, well, I'm not going to, I can't go into it, but the fourth one brings it back to earth. So, whoa. Yeah. So you're, we're getting an on earth too sci much. James Cameron sci-fi movie. I didn't in, even want to know in that. In like eight years. I didn't even want to know that. Okay. Okay. They're, That's touting, they're touting that. What if the final shot of the last avatar is like, Earth's all fucked up, and then you just see like T one thousand rise up for one second, and yeah. then boom, over. Hey, it's boom. what I've been saying. What's got to happen by the end of these is we've seen people go into Avatar bodies. We got to see the blue guys, the Navi, yeah. go into people bodies, oh. and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, my penis is so small." Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait for that. No, no tail in the back. What? I got a tail in the front. <laughs> Oh, this tail feels good. How's the weather up there? Ooh, wait till I connect this to my whale's uh, brain nerve. Yeah, I could see being a studio executive reading that and going, yeah, no notes. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So the Navi Slam go to dunk. Earth and they actually attach their tail to a penis. <laughs> Imagine all the fu the funny like dick dick dicky tricks that could that be. Oh, oh, I can't man. wait. That's dude. gonna be a good movie. That's gonna yeah. be a that's gonna be a slamming. Yeah, I want to clarify too. I don't mean to be so harsh on James Cameron. He's going through a tough time. He only got nominated for four Oscars, and not you know. Oh no, a million poor James. He deserves. Poor, yeah, poor JC. Um, so James, you can still put me in your movies. I'll still be in them, but I'm just not gonna talk to you much on set. I think James Cameron <laughs> um, rules. Why why the James Cameron hate? Hold on, before you answer, let me make some points in his favor. Sure. All right. Point. Terminator 2, True Lies, Aliens, mm. Titanic, The Abyss. Mm -hmm. Ter Terminator 1? Throw that in there. I'm going to even throw All right, Terminator 1 if you want. But I want it. So why do you hate James Cameron? Uh, again, his movies are fine. Yeah, the first Avatar is unbearably bad, and then the second one is, as you said, Derek, greatest movie ever made. Three out of five. Um, it's it's very impressive looking, but the story is fucking. But he's just so into himself. I just can't. I just don't like it when someone is that 
He's the cock in of the walk. In love with themselves and thinks they can do no wrong. It bothers me. But he has This is a done, character trait people have. But he's super successful. I know. At what point do you get to be that way? He should be. Sean doesn't mm-hmm. like that he's not modest. He, he can be. has the four <laughs> highest grossing films of all time. Definitely. You can and be that and not be an asshole at the same yeah. time. He's not necessarily being an asshole, Sean. Wow. He's just not modest about oh, his success. Where I, hey, where I, where I care about that, legitimately, when I see a public figure like that, where I care is, are they being an asshole to other people? You know what I mean? But the answer like, is, is yes, right? Is the set, is it? I don't think I, so. It seems like everyone wants to keep working I don't with know. Them, when know, someone's asking them. about the whales and he has to correct them and say, oh, yeah, but he's, <laughs> yeah, but that's They're a not. But I'm saying he's, but he's not like mistreating them on the set or anything. Yeah. He's, he's, you know, he's, you're not on set. He's joking you know, about the whales. Here, Call me, me when you're ready. Let me, me ask explain <laughs> something to you on a cosmic level about the universe. There's a balance to the universe. Sure. And when you push, the universe pushes back. Mm-hmm. James Cameron has made four or five or six, because the number is always changing, of the highest grossing films of all time. Uh-huh. He's made The Terminator. He's made Aliens, Ripley, some of the most iconic characters of all time. And he still has people telling him, like, yeah. shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. be, be modest. And it's like, at what point does this guy just get to have free reign he has dude, free reign. Dude. No, because you're here being like, I oh, fucking hate this guy. And it's I'm like, holding ah, him back. He, I didn't Sean, realize. You're holding him back. He I didn't realize. He hasn't earned your respect, <laughs> and I don't know what he can do to do it at this point. Not be an asshole. <laughs> and all I'm saying is he has my respect, because I can acknowledge all those movies and those accomplishments sure. are like, that's insane. That's an insane yeah. And track he's pioneering um, I, uh, underwater exploration. Yeah, deep dive shit. I know. Yeah. It's Fucking amazing. I will I will say this. Th- that news story broke over the last day or two that it was now it's the fourth highest grossing movie or whatever. Yeah. And once again, like I think I retweeted it or something. And the, once again, the replies were like, this is crazy to me. I don't know anyone who saw it. Can I? No one can name any characters. And I'm like, Pyacon. this is the same shit you Pyacon. said over a decade ago. Can I tell you something? I saw it last night. You did? Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. In IMAX 3D. Oh, oh shit. In a packed theater. Wow. Yes. In a packed, Thank wow. you. packed theater. Wow. Thank you. Like there, like people were stepping over people now, to get to their seats. Wow. Now I will Still. say, I will say yeah. though, I will say, and this is maybe not and the movie's not that good. So you don't have to go see it. <laughs> I will say though, maybe in defense of it, and even though I'm hardcore defending it, I probably agree with m- most of your guys' thoughts on it. However, I will say part of the reason I think it's packed is also there is nothing else out right now mm-hmm. like like very yeah, little skin of a rink dude i saw infinity <laughs> no, pool but you know what i mean <laughs> i was in i was in la a couple days ago and ate dinner at a place next to they had just opened a brand new amc with dolby cinema all this shit and the whole time i'm looking i'm like man no one's going into that theater damn this whole time wow. and it was you know it was at night i'm like damn i haven't seen anyone go in and then i was even saying like oh let's go see a movie that you know it might be cool and we looked and it's like it was either the whale or avatar again and i'm not talking the tulkoon whale i'm talking yeah, brendan, which fraser. You're talking about that fraser. brendan fraser and that, those were, it was like that was it and i remember last year hearing that people they were saying like theaters are nervous because avatar is like it until fucking ant-man Dude, shows up fucking put rr back in theaters what are you doing i seriously? would go tomorrow I would go tomorrow. By the way, yesterday when I saw Avatar, I was watching the trailers. Mm -hmm. We need a new fucking movie. Not like they better make one. (laughs) No, no, no. Not like a new movie, but just a a new way to fucking approach filmmaking. Yeah. Because between Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Ant Man. Oh, yeah. Quantinarium, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah. Quantif- yeah. Quantifilarium. <laughs> quantum quantum yeah. v- mechanics. Quantum veneer. Ant Man 3. Yeah. It's Ant Man 3. They're just yes. making the third iteration of well, like all these Marvel movies, yeah. and it's just the same I s- movie. I, I saw that. a trailer today during the football game for a movie called Cocaine Bear. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, trailer. Cocaine yeah, Bear looks cool. So there you go. Brand new. Cocaine Bear. 824, I think. Based on a true story. That's an 824 movie? I believe, yeah. yeah. Oh, so dude from yeah. Modern Family. I the Bear? The show. I haven't seen that one. Oh. Yeah. I've noticed the, the thing with all these new superhero trailers, they all have a nostalgia-laden classic rock song remix. Yeah. In them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they keep doing that. Everyone You're has right. some like 1980s song remixed to like be dubstep and it plays slowly throughout the trailer. I mean, even the like trailer. the Batman had that with that Nirvana song. Yeah. No, that it's literally That's all, the formula. It's all the same movie. Yeah. Like uh 
the trailers just kind of blend together after a certain point. But yeah. those movies, the Marvel movies aren't making the money they were, right? The, we have seen they're, the decline. They're, they're still like the big, I mean, in theaters right now, they're still the biggest draw. Like any sure. Mar- it still is, but it's not. It's not what it was. Quite. Yeah. Yeah. But like but they're but also reboot. theaters aren't back where they were either before. Marvel's so. in a weird. It's hard spot. to say what's what. Yeah. But but I just feel like I see a lot of fatigue with that in general because I feel like uh, it's not even even the most diehard fans I feel like are going like what are these new movies kind of getting at? I don't even care yeah. if you want to keep making comic book movies, superhero yeah. movies, but like break the mold. You yeah. can't do like uh, just especially with 3D Marvel movies. Yeah. That really feels like this is just the same. Yeah. Uh, like you're just kind of churning them out. At and, this I, point. and I feel like the last five I've seen have just been all kind of the same kind of smirky, quirky kind of. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what then was, like, yeah, go ahead. What was great about the Doctor Strange that Sam Raimi directed was that it 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 finally did break that mold and it was just a horror movie. See, I didn't feel that way at all with that movie. I thought I felt I felt like it was the same thing with some more like shocking scenes maybe, but I feel like it totally subverted what all those Marvel movies have been doing and and really made it, I don't know, uh, you know, yeah. a Sam Raimi mo- uh, it's still it's 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 his style of movie, which mm-hmm. is a horror genre, but within the kind of Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. It, it definitely had that type of writing still though. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, the, yeah, force, the force spoken. I, I was hoping they would go even wilder with it, I guess, in my yeah. head. So when I saw it, I was like, yeah, all right. I watched this years ago. There was this like uh, film analysis thing about film trends and how they kind of rise and die. And it was talking about Westerns in the 60s and 70s. Mm. And it said that you can you can tell. And I don't know if this is true anymore, but it said you could tell when a film trend or genre is kind of on its way out when parodies start showing up Mm. people start making fun of the movies because they've seen them so much right but then i feel like superhero parodies came and went uh you know because we kick ass because i remember years ago you said i remember years ago when those came out you said that you were like yeah it feels like it's that right now there was so my super girlfriend or my super ex-girlfriend like you remember all these fucking movies the amazon show is a parody of superheroes but like, yeah the boys, the boys. Mm-hmm. yeah that's like second generation but, yeah uh, it really is and yet the like but the main superhero movies just like continue to press on like yeah we know people are making fun of this genre we don't give a fuck, fuck we're em. just gonna keep making <laughs> it but it's funny though a lot of uh, a lot of them i feel like kind of have gone like there used to be a every rogue studio and their mother was making a, a superhero project yeah, the and indies I, have stopped. And I do feel like now it's, well, Marvel's got their machine that's never going to stop, so that's going to keep doing that. Even DC is going like, man, what do we do? Well, I thought they were, <laughs> they were redoing everything, right? They yeah. James Gunn. Yeah, they're, 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 they're uh, back at the drawing board. Um, but, uh, yeah. I think DC, put me in charge, by the way, DC, should try their yeah. hardest to Dude. not be Marvel. Be yeah. the opposite of Marvel. Yeah. Literally, like, the next Batman should be filmed on a fucking iPhone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking like well, they were they were trying to do that but but they were going in the way of like dour like kind of like let's make this the darkest thing and yeah but it just but it wasn't fun but but uh, but that i also good. feel like we already movie. did that in the he, early yeah 2000s. Keep, keep exploring dc <laughs> yeah keep Christopher trying, Nolan did just that. just don't try to be marvel because that is cornered you know that market's cornered yeah i feel like Give us the opposite, the alternative to that. But also, yeah, but also, too, I mean, the one thing that they were doing really well is like even like the Batman coming out last year wasn't trying to fit into a fucking. I really like that. It wasn't it wasn't trying to fit into a cinematic universe, you know. Okay, so guess what? Yeah, it was a big hit. Like people seem to like it. Okay, now I'm not the biggest fan of Joker, but that was another hit. You know what I mean? And it wasn't trying to like. Oh, we got to fit into this. We got to fit into that. You know, whether you like it or not, at least there was an attempt there to it's like that's its own kind of yeah, vehicle. I think you're right. I think you're you right. You know, and, and it's weird that they couldn't figure that out with the other ones. It's like, no, we got to get them. Get the whole Justice League in there. Get them. You know, I don't know. So in conclusion, yes, I will see James Cameron's movies, but I don't want to hang out with them. And that's really why I would totally hang out with them. Dude, I would so much good shit. I, you, know? I, you said, Sean, you can get lunch with James Cameron. I'd probably go, but I'd also be like, it's not going to be I, much fun. Can I tell you why I like James Cameron? And it has nothing to do with any of his movies. Okay. I heard that he was like a 35 year old truck driver. Yeah. And was just like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, I want to be a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. And his first movie was at 35. He made Piranha 2. Damn. Like, didn't, didn't he fill in for some? It yeah. was like someone wow. didn't want it, yeah. couldn't do it anymore. It's it, it, like, all right, you know what? Fun. I'm doing it. Let that. me tell you, Piranha 1 is not a famous horror movie. 
So to make Piranha 2 <laughs> that's a, that's not great. at 35, you know, middle age, a lot of people be like, you're too old to fucking start a new career. And then to go on and be the highest grossing filmmaker of all time. I just feel like that's cool. I'm dude. not saying it's not impressive. Yeah. It is impressive. Everything he's done in his career is impressive. I just don't. Yeah, too arrogant. I get it. Like him. It so- looks like he smokes, huh? Uh, no. It looks like he smokes no, some cigarettes. I don't think no, he he's smokes cigarettes. He's no Chris no, Collins. He's super, he's super, <laughs> he's super a, health uh, oriented. I love that Sean's just biased. Um, hey, against, let's, uh, opulence. <laughs> let's pause for a second. We d- Derek did mention we are going to do the Mega 64 board game Olympics. Oh, Olympic board games? Yep. Shit, now I don't. Nah, it's, you know. February 18th. <laughs> February 18th. So we already got that on there in case you didn't hear it earlier. Tune in that day. You know how cutthroat that got last time. So, oh fuck. you know, Derek summed it up perfect. Go see it. Well, when it happens, watch it when it happens. But what you can do right now, if you like our show, you want to support our show, go to shop.mega64.com and you got the, the sky's the limit on what you could buy there. I mean, we got more items than Amazon. And I think that's proven. Oh, yeah, it is. Kevin's running the numbers right now, but I think it's true. Can you? I didn't touch a button. He said Amazon. I didn't touch a single button. (laughs) Thank you. Trying to talk. Um, Anyway, shop.megasystore.com has got the best stuff. We got apparel like crazy. By the way, Friday, we just put up uh, our good friend, Mariel. She's uh, Kinu Cakes on Twitter. Goes by Kinuko when she does art stuff. Whatever name you know her by, we got a whole sweatshirt drop that came out on Friday. Yeah. We have these sweatshirt designs that we had not had in a long time. People have been asking for them forever. All four designs are up. The Neuro, the, the Char- Experiment sweatshirt, the Rider sweatshirt, the Mega Season 4 X Kinico sweatshirt. There's four designs. They're all up for pre-order now, but it's coming down soon. So go to shop.megasis4.com, pick that up. Also, every Sunday, we like to do something called the 64-hour special. That's a design you know, something weird, something risky that we could only keep up for 64 hours. And then it's gone in celebration of a great stream we did last week. Someone online did a great design that we were just so blown away by. And I showed it to my Italian cousins. They loved it too. The stream oh. fellas shirt. Uh, what's that? There was no audio during that. I looked into that. <laughs> okay. Should I say it all again? Yep. I want to give a shout. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, uh, all right. Just go pick up the shirt. Buy the shirt. Stream fellas. I want to say Gabagool. that me and Kevin, Johnny's not here tonight. Mm-hmm. Me and Kevin uh, set everything up. And, you know, Johnny helms this and does it, runs a really nice tight ship. And some, he's not here. We miss him. We miss him. But I, I, we, Kevin and I had the conversation. We're going to show the slide. It's not going to lose audio. We can do this. Kevin, we can do this. And I guess we can't do it. We there do it. is something with our setup where it will, it will cut the audio when you show an image. And we've solved it a hundred times. And, and it, will never, it will never go away. Back. It it's reverts okay. back. The yeah. people at home probably didn't even notice you guys. It's fine. Yeah. Go to shop.mega64. Pick up the stream fellow shirt. Um, it um, gives you street cred. So if somebody's looking for you, if you yeah. if you owe somebody money and some you know some guys are looking for you, you can do some bad stuff. If you have oh, the yeah. stream fellow shirt on, they'll be like, oh oh, we'll come back another day. I'll yeah, I see you. Yeah, they're gonna go. Uh, <laughs> the rent state. Oh, actually, we're quoting different movies now. I see you. My they, fun- <laughs> they're either gonna say that or they're gonna Sivaka. say the rent stayed the same. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh no, oh, no uh, ten dollars lower. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. Um, anyway, pick up one of those. Yeah. I, I want to give a shout out to uh, Joaquin. This guy did this artwork unprompted. I saw it and was just like, yo, where did this come? This is awesome. So Joaquin, you you nailed it on that. That artwork is really good. Well done. So pick well up that shirt. You thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, Patreon.com slash Mega64 is also a great place to, to check out what we're doing. We got a ton of exclusive stuff on there. And moments ago, five minutes ago, we just dropped the new movie club episode where we we all watched RRR. Mm. And you might be, I think it, it might be our longest. I mean, it's a long movie. So to match oh, wow. that, we did maybe our longest movie club episode ever. And you might be surprised at our review of it. Uh, it was an experience. So uh, watch that. We got, uh, we did, uh, we, we, we played through a trilogy of board games that will truly bend your mind. Um, some involving trivia, some involving other physical things um but uh that's all on patreon.com slash mega 64 so check that out anyway what were we talking about before that 
Um, I don't know. We've been going for an hour. God, Why don't yeah, we switch we over the, to the after show? We did Last of Us. And uh, there know. actually was a list of topics people wanted us to cover. We got through half of them. We have a couple more, um, but I'll have to remember what they were. Yeah, I, I know. I don't have any. I'm like, I yeah, where did I jot that down? We're going to talk I about a couple remember. video games and more. So join us in the after show mm-hmm. starting in just a few minutes. Unless yeah. there's anything else you guys want to get to. <laughs> Absolutely. Not for the main show. Absolutely not. I've said enough. Okay, James Cameron, I'll be in your movie. Fuck. God, now I feel like I'm I'm being mean for no reason. He real qu- real quick, real quick. Actually, before we wrap it up, I do want to say uh, thanks to everyone, obviously, for tuning in. We didn't get to talk. Derek, we, we did ask everyone last week about uh, what we did on our holiday break. <clears throat> we didn't get to ask you, but we also, we did never get to oh, Todd and Aaron. Todd and Aaron. Uh, right. That we uh, talked about working on that at all. And I do I do think it would be cool to bring that up just just real fast. Yeah. Um, it, uh, it was, uh, I mean, a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I will say, <laughs> as, a, as, as it always is. It always, it, yeah, it's always a, it, it's good. I mean, it seems it, like you guys dread Todd and Aaron when it's like crunch, but this year you went into it like okay, let's set aside our time. Let's start working. Well, we on didn't Todd have a tour to do last yes. like last year. Yeah, that so was this, year <laughs> juggling that with the tour and and finishing version four, it was like oh my god, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, around Christmas that was too much. But it this year seemed it was better like, around the office. Yeah, this it was year. a healthier experience. Yeah, it definitely was better. I will say though, the AI ending was in fact all written by AI, mm-hmm. which I thought was great. Like I've never really like, messed with AI. Until like, you know, like Johnny showed me like a second of like, you know, hey, check it out. I'm going to write a paper about of my cement. And then he hits the thing and it writes it. And it's like, that's crazy. But then yeah. like, I didn't think it would be so detailed and good when it came to writing a script for Todd and Aaron. And it was great. I thought that was awesome. Which uh, prompt, which brand AI did you use? Derek did that. Do you Derek, remember do you know which, I don't what, know what it was? What it was called? Uh, I'm not going to reveal script. the AI here. Okay. You're not, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, you know, I don't want to reveal our tools. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Todd and Aaron, I think you guys were hilarious as always. And um, yeah, you guys killed it. And so, we put, uh, there's a one jokes we didn't use on the Patreon, right? Yeah, on Patreon, there's a whole, a whole deck of, yeah, it's all the jokes we didn't uh, run with. There was uh, one, of, I'm trying to think, uh, there was a couple about Halloween ends. That were really stupid. Oh, yeah, um, there not. was a there was a by a uh, worst most destructive warfare or something that was the like Amber Heard or <laughs> something like they can't be using <laughs> biological weapons. Oh, or, that's oh, good. Yeah, that's something. good. Yeah, that's right. Um, I love that on Patreon where you have the behind the scenes of Todd there. Yeah, because you know some of the jokes are either like either too good and it's like i don't know if we should say this or they're like this is fucking stupid we should cut it yeah so it is it, it's fun to see both of them i think mm-hmm. yeah it's funny sometimes seeing which ones are like dude this is gonna kill and then you do it and it's like yeah it's just not fine we're not finding it just never yeah it just it. seems mean maybe but i still feel like it's <laughs> the fact that when you watch it when it's cut it's like it's funny because like it was cut and you know okay they're you not, know why yeah, yeah they, you, you know why it was there's cut. definitely <laughs> things that are funnier in the context of deleted scene Hundred percent. Then when you put it in and it's like okay, I'm good. Yeah. Um, Which is why like Jackass two point five works, where it's like it's funnier because they didn't show it in the movie. You know, yeah, like, because that's why it, I like it more. Yeah. yeah. But, Anyways, well that's that. <laughs> How about that? We're done. Uh, stick around for watching the after show, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see you uh, next week. And I can't wait. Kevin fade us out. You did. You figured it out. He can do it. Gather round, everybody. You know, now that we're in the after show, uh, I will say besides the slide for the, the stream fellows, I think everything up there, you did a great job, Kevin. Good job. Yeah, and I that's thought, not even Kevin's fault. That Johnny has been aware of that problem for a millennium now. Yeah, we can't figure out why. it still happens. Yeah. Like, he'll set everything correct, and then he'll go to a thing. We get new and, equipment. And I'll, and I'll talk for 20 minutes, and then it's like, yeah, no one heard any of that. <laughs> Yeah, what is that? That's okay. It'll be fixed for Tuesday. No one will ever know. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. That's true. That's true. Um, do you want the chat back up, or do you want to keep keep it off? <clears throat> okay. Okay. <gasps> do we know how the football game is going? I'm oh, going football! Shitty. Come on. Uh, they canceled Stop. it. Stop. How how the Another last guy of us had episode? A fucking heart go. attack. Three did people did actually. All, oh. I, all I saw was there was a giant fight. I mean, yeah. That was a uh, game before uh, the Chiefs won. Sorry. So, Go Mahomes. So, oh wait, wait. Okay. I wasn't even aware. Yeah. So Sean was and I, <laughs> Sean and I are, are following the football game very closely, right? Uh, because there was a bet made on the Howard Stern show. Yep. If oh, the, if the 
If the Chiefs lost, JD had to shave his head? No, or no? The Chiefs win, JD have to shave his head. And if the Bengals win, then JD shaves his pubes and then An Richard has to wear it as a beard, which, which they did in Jackass. Which is a Jackass 2 bit. Yeah. Um, but the Chiefs won, so, have so to shave JD his has to shave his head? Yeah. Oh, he's going to have a hard time with that. No, that's not my problem. Do you think, yeah, but I can't wait to listen now. Who, yeah. Do you think you would look good with a shaved head? Does anyone here feel like, yeah, I used I'd, I'd to do that. One. Yeah, I used to do that. Yeah. Um, so, you, so you feel good about that? No, uh, no, I don't think I will. I think I could, but I just don't want, I I've almost, never wanted to do I that. I almost did shave my head over the Christmas break. I was like really close to doing it. Uh, and uh, I still may. I still may shave my head. You know. You're talking like Bic? Because I went down to like a two. I don't know. I you would know, do like whatever. a one or two. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. I can't do a Bic. I don't yeah. think. I don't think that's who I am. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, back in high school. Yeah, you guys didn't know me when I had shaved head. No, I've seen a lot of pictures of you in high school, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With short hair. Yeah. I, ever since I've known you, though, I've had long hair, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, who, me? Who, me? No, I had long hair. Yeah, you. I had long hair back in like the... I always think of that one. Oh, Mario I remember Kart, long hair. The Sean. Mario Kart video. We were yeah. high. I forget what it was called. Advil. Uh, you took too many Advil. Yeah, Mario Kart crash. Mario Kart crash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when like everyone had super long hair. That was. Fun. It was a look. It was a good look. Two thousand three, baby. Yeah. Do you think you would look good with a shaved head? What do you Hell think? Hell yeah. I could kind of picture that. But the mustache bigger. Uh, that would look awesome. Sure. I think I could make any look work. You know. Just gotta, I just like gotta that. Find your groove. See, you that's like the kind Dax of confidence Hardwood. I like. I like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Derek would look like half a FTR. It'd be awesome. Yeah, I'd, I'd get way more muscular. I'd start wearing uh, suspenders and button-up shirts, yeah. cuff pants, boots. Big, like, yeah, I'd try to look like Bronson. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'd fucking make it work, you know? Yeah. That'd be rad. Gotta, you know, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's true. That's true. I should make lemonade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you dude, like lemonade? Dude, uh, Jenny, I thought fractured her ankle today. We had to go to like the, I was in the emergency room or the, oh, the man. urgent care. Really? Today. Yeah. Uh, it turns out they had to have a special look at the x-rays, but it was like a se severe sprain, but no fracture. That's good. But she's not allowed to drive or walk for like a week. Oh you man, should, dude! Was it just wild. walking around the house? Actually, no. It was like walk. It was uh, walk. She went to walk around the neighborhood on the block, and then just like jumped off a curb. Just walked. Mm. Out, I should say stepped off a curb mm. and just stepped wrong. Like that shit. Like it's so. What a, it was a bummer. That is. But yeah, my whole day was doctor's office. How did she get home? She called me, and I went and picked her up. Oh, she didn't crawl. No, Dang. no. But luckily, like sometimes when she goes on a walk, I'm like you know at work or whatever. Yeah. So luckily, oh, I was luckily able to, you were home. Yeah, yeah, I was just up the street, so I was able to grab her. You were like a knight in shining armor, dude. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely look like a knight in shining. It's armor. It's cool when you get to be that. Uh, yeah, you know. And to, when I say I was the doctor's, I dropped her off at the doctor's, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna go hang out with my sister," and she's making me laugh. Oh, you left her there? Well, because she said, "Like, what am I gonna do here? Like, go hang out with the kids and whatever." Like, you know, oh, like, okay. what, am I, what, what, what am I gonna do? So and you're I picked still up helping her out because you got to go take care of the kids. That's and they're so hard. I know, right? They're, not, that's they're not at true. that age. No, now. that's not true. But yeah, dude, <laughs> um, ankle shit sucks. Like, that's just wild. Yeah, I'm finally my ankle's feeling better after I rolled it. Uh, God, when when was that? Two months ago. Yeah, I mean, when I heard it when we did that uh, Metal, Metal Gear in five minutes video. That hurt for like months. Yeah, it was like a pain all the time on my. Was that ankle. when you rolled on the uh, when you were sliding on the cooler, the yep. snowboard in the oh, cooler? Yeah, you yeah. had that shot of my ankle going eh, the it wrong looked really way. Cool I though, forgot Sean. about that. It yeah. looked really cool. Yeah, it did look cool. Yeah, thank you. You do. You that was really cool. worth that behind the scenes shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least it made uh, it into some uh, video. Yeah, honestly though, if you're gonna get hurt, I guess might as well have it be on. You know, it wasn't like that serious, but like it, it sucked. Might as well have people laugh at it later, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You that's, don't know. That's all I got. We have no goodies, right? That's official. I, oh, I'm still, Sean, I'm still, the goodies. I'm still glowing some... from last week's goodies, to be real. I thought we were going to talk about games, movies. I thought Derek was going to tell us about his Christmas break. Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> it's just straight to goodies. Well, I was working hard over Christmas break. I don't think I have anything fun to share. I was just kind of like, Using my time strategically. 
yeah to prepare for 2023 to be a really good year strategize reading, reading a lot of mm-hmm. books reading a lot of um you know entrepreneur books boring shit like that mm. um uh, I saw in the chat they're talking about Legos happening. I finished the Legos. I don't know if that is. That's all up on the archives. Oh, yeah, that is right there. Everything is up on the archives channel, including the uh, poorly played stream I spoke of where we played The Last of Us Part 1. Wait, is this the camera here? If we go to that, Kevin, is that, uh, can that go be seen by the, no, it's too low. We'll do the, let's do the main Is this camera. Rocco looking like a badass? But you push. You look like you could be an old dogs. You push it like this. And then, oh wait, this way. There it is. Well, and now where's the show off Bowser? Oh, something. There broke. he is. I heard something break. I, I know, broke something off. I, something broke. Something. Yeah, I was looking off. at it on my own the other day, and it, I kept hearing pieces. Oh, come off. I was did like, you really? Oh, not, all right. He was shaking it. <laughs> oh, I no, fixed I, it. I fixed I, it. I think it was the same thing you so, just did. So, yeah. uh, how much for you to just destroy it right now? No, I no, thank you. Twenty bucks. No, forty bucks. No, <laughs> sixty bucks. I'll put in. If you put in sixty, I'll double that. That's one hundred twenty bucks. bucks. Don't make me do this, guys. <laughs> one hundred twenty bucks. Because who was the guy who was who was helping you the whole time in every stream too? Oh, don't make, I, was that Ryan? Was, it was Ryan. Is he here? What was? I don't remember the last name. Just throw it on the ground. Just smash it like a pumpkin. I really. I don't um, know if you. could. I think that would help. I think it'd break thing. a hole. Make a hole. It's it's. It's pretty sturdy. Oh, it's a Ryan Bates. Piece. Yeah, I think it's Bates. Ryan Bates. Thank um, you, Ryan. Yeah. 200? Would you do it for 200 bucks? Uh, I mean, I would, yeah, I mean, sure, but like, I really don't want to. <laughs> How much for you to want to do it? <laughs> 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 That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Like, How much to change that mind of yours? I don't know. I really, I bet you'd smash it for a thousand bucks. I absolutely would smash yeah, it for a thousand dollars. Yeah, I would definitely do it. You but I still wouldn't it. want to do it. Like, uh, wouldn't want to. Oh, yeah, like shit. you know, like I mean, not get them all as universe. Yeah, total n- nailed it. I get bet him. for five thousand dollars, you'd want to smash. it. I that. think you're right. You'd be stoked. Yeah, yeah you're right. It. I'd be excited if yeah. If honestly, if I had a thousand, here, here's six to. Universal Studios tickets. I would want to smash it. It's like all right, I can. What? That's just six hundred bucks. I know, but I also I also, okay. For six hundred, you would want to smash it, but for eight hundred, would you buy it again and rebuild it? No. For well, I wouldn't do all that again. For a thousand, would you smash it and rebuy it and rebuild it? Well, then, yeah, he would. Yeah, I guess you would build it twice as fast the second time. I know. I, I would build it again. I mean, I didn't like hate building it. You, you know, didn't. I didn't. No. Okay. okay, but, that's but good. That's you know, good. I just, I just don't want to. But I also if somebody said they give you a thousand dollars every time you smashed it and rebuilt it, how many times do you think you could do it? I would do that as my job. I would do it <laughs> whenever I had a second. Thank you for all of the anonymous gifts. Oh, thank Very you. nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh I would I would whenever I had a free moment, I'd be doing it again. You'd be you think you do it a hundred times? I would definitely do it a hundred times. Would you for a thousand dollars every time I did would it? Would you do it two yes. hundred times? I yes, I would make it my mission and I'd be so good at it, I could do it without instructions well, at some okay. point. Would you do it five hundred times? Yes. <laughs> but figure this out. Is it economical? Because yeah, right. how long did how many man hours did it take you to build that? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, really five hundred times. I don't times. know, maybe four like, streams. Yeah. Yeah, probably probably like three eight hours. hours. Eight hours, ten eight to ten. Ten hours. Yeah, eight to ten. Thousand dollars in a ten hour day is a pretty good income. Five thousand hours worth of work. I would do it. No, yeah. you wouldn't. I would. Every you, other day. You, you would be shocked. You don't know your own limits. I <laughs> I <laughs> I would do I would do some fucked up stuff for a thousand dollars for anything I needed to do. Whoa. Wow. I'm not saying like the building Legos wasn't that status. hard. Would you be gay for five minutes? That's two hundred and eight days of work. Okay. For five hundred of them. For five hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, of course I would. Two hundred and eight days of straight Lego building, twenty four hours a day. That's for t- half a million dollars. Yeah, I'd do anything for half a million. I would. Dollars, I bro. would do. I would uh, do that. I wouldn't half do that. half a mil. But I won't do that. Half a mil? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, I would do that. There's oh. not much I wouldn't do for half a mil. Yeah. Why? There's not much I wouldn't do for fun. It's <laughs> like it's 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 like seven months straight work, no sleep, no Try breaks. It. I mean, yeah. you would have to. You can't not. Sleep well, that's how die. much. That's how much man hours it would be. It's right. seven months. If you did it straight, twenty four hours a day, no breaks, it would take you seven months to build five hundred of those. Mm-hmm. Yes. No way. 
Yeah. That's not even worth it. It is worth it. You can make $500,000. How? Okay. Go to college. <laughs> well, that, uh, one. Get, get a, get a uh, fun job that doesn't involve breaking your fingers on Legos. Oh, I guess this is a way to make $500,000 with no training and no special skills. Yeah. And in that Which sense, I have none of these things. Yeah. I mean, you probably be uh, make more money just being a plumber. I, I, do I tell us? I'll tell a story. I, my dad works at a college. Okay. okay. And, uh, he called me the other day. I'm like, what did you have two days? Oh, I'm actually, um, I'm interviewing people. I'm honestly looking for someone like you, but you don't have a degree. <laughs> okay. Aww. He's like, it's like a podcast class, but you know, but someone with the podcast experience, you have all that. I'm like, I sure do. He's like, yeah, I don't have that degree though. It's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I'm a fucking what? loser. Degree yeah. What's what? a Roll it, Jones. Degree? Thank you. Yeah. What's a podcast degree? I would have made such a killer argument. Like I've been podcasting for 20 years. What is your degree going to teach you in four years that I haven't learned in two decades? Right. Dude, I could I probably mean, teach a fucking class. I know. Well, and that's what you were applying for. He wasn't trying to be mean. He was just saying like, ah, eh, you, you would be perfect. Hey man, if that only. stupid piece of paper that puts you in debt is really a barrier of entry on a lot of jobs. It's so yeah. funny because yeah. like that degree is supposed to get you kind of up to speed so you can enter the workforce. Mm -hmm. And you're somebody who like pioneered this. Yeah, field. right. I started it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like you've probably done more podcasts than anybody in that class will ever do yeah. in, in all of their lifetimes combined. Like yeah. over 700. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, like uh, I, I'm doing this. Like it's not like I like. I mean, if it was like a side gig, that would be kind of fun. Dude, you've built sets. You know the camera setup. You know the switchers. Yeah. You know like how to upload them. How you know how to tag them. Use a stream. Edit them. Yeah. You know like cross promotion, promotion getting guests. You know on site like location stuff. Doing it all over. We've done podcasts all over the world. Yeah. You know, honestly, they'd be lucky to have me. Uh, uh, they don't deserve you. They don't deserve me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Buzz McFly says been podcasting before some of them were even born. That's probably true. Hmm. For real? Hmm. 2006 when we started a podcast. Is that right, Rocco? Yes. You know, Let I me did, do some math real quick. I did one <laughs> pod, one episode of one podcast Dude. before I met you guys. You did? Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know what that. the I'm, fuck? I'm actually, I'm actually kind of hung up on the idea that those students got an education from some guy who got a <laughs> fucking degree and they missed out on a fucking class with Sean from Mega64. Like, mm. you're a legendary YouTuber. With a really famous podcast, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, but I, I got, I did my class with Mr. Gefelta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he did a podcast. Shalom. He did a podcast about, uh, yeah, chia pets. He has a chia pet. Uh, you know, I got like fifty views. It's pretty. I learned a lot. Like, who the fuck did they? Those kids I were robbed. Yeah, I don't know who they of got. Of a fucking it. invaluable yeah. education. <laughs> yeah, twenty years worth of expert knowledge. Yeah. Anyways. Because honestly, if it was like, hey, the class is at 8 a.m., I'm like, I could swing this. I could do work Fuck in that. Yeah, I would do cool. it. Mm -hmm. I would do it. They call me Mr. Chatfield. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Who the fuck did they get to teach that class? I really want to know. Yeah. I don't know. KSI? I don't was think I could leafy? ever Who'd teach a class of like younger people because I, I just feel like I get too hung up on like how I'm imprinting on them. Like even, even to this day, people will email me like, oh, this thing you said, uh, in this video 10 years ago really inspired me. I'm like, Ooh, like it's it, not that I don't appreciate hearing that, but it's like, uh, what, uh, what I don't, I feel weird. Like, Oh man, that thing I did changed something that you were doing. But oh, it's, it's too much. It's like, Oh, it shows you how much power. Yeah. Have, it's like, maybe. it's too, yeah. I've had to like yeah, reconcile. I've had to reconcile that a lot. It's like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone mentioned I did a thing at, uh, Frank was teaching a class once and he had me speak and just that was enough. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. And I, Cause I was saying stuff. It was just like, I don't know. Is this, is it good that I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to do anything that changes someone's mind and then they do something worse. You know what I mean? That's, I don't know. That's, no, you gotta that's be ridiculous. You that's just self. Good. Uh, come on. You gotta believe in yourself. More. Yeah, totally. I spoke at Frank's class as well. And, uh, I've taught maybe five or six workshops mm. that were like six sessions long with, the San Diego film consortium here in San Diego. Yeah. It was terrifying being a teacher. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's like doing stand up comedy. You're standing in front of the room and all eyes are on you and they're like, say something valuable. Like, yeah. You know, you're yeah. like, I don't fucking, it was nerve. Like I was shaking. Yeah. It's so funny after doing all the Mega 64 stuff and fucking with people in public, you go up and teach a class and suddenly it's like, well, I'm not going to fuck around. Like I'm not yeah. going to yeah. fucking goof off and make everybody feel uncomfortable. This is different kind of being on the spot. 
Uh, so I really struggled for like my first three or four classes. I almost quit, honestly. They're giving it was giving me panic attacks. Um, but my friend Jody, silly uh, founder of the film consortium, who had asked me to teach these classes, took me aside, and she's a college professor at the same school your dad works at. Mm, yeah, and, and she basically said, and this is what she would say to you: You know more about this subject than anybody here. Like mm. anything you want to say, say it because nobody here knows anything about what you do. And they're all here to just find out how you did what you did. So whatever mm. you want to share, yeah. go for it. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's, you're right. That's it a kind of, pep talk. It yeah. took the pressure off of like, that's cool. I guess, yeah, anything I do share is going to be like miles ahead of where you are in like YouTube stuff. So yeah, that actually did take a lot of the pressure off. When mm -hmm. I did speak, at I think all of you would be fabulous at educating people. Yeah, I think I think I could definitely do it. I did speak in front of a high school class once, and I bombed they did not care at oh. all and it was like derek was giving me like pointers and tips you even had like a little video reel to like you made like hey you can, i spoke at a school yeah <laughs> you, you can borrow yeah. you can borrow my video reel if you want and i'm like okay cool and then like they were checked the fuck out and it oh. was like i could tell i lost the crowd within the first 30 seconds and i was like oh. I got another how long? Forty five minutes to talk to this. What was the video? Old. Was you guys showing Timbo or something? No, it was just showing him like this, like who we, like who I am. And the Derek made yeah. this video of this, like us through the years, and that was that was it. It was basically like what we show at our convention. Yeah, it was a panel that's intro. What I, that's what I think. Yeah, and it was like, oh man, they did not care. And then like I remember the the teacher who I'm friendly with still was like, you know, if it goes well, maybe we'll have you back and we'll do. Oh. And she, never talk not, to me about doing that again like she never even brought it huh? up again like hey thanks yeah. a lot really appreciate you doing that and she has not spoken <laughs> of it since even though i see her a lot so it just you didn't know, go well kids are stupid you gotta wow them out the uh, gate i bet you came in there you were like hi i'm mr chatfield and you turned your back and you wrote your name and chuck so dude, you gotta walk in dude. you gotta go what's up garrett oh, rip a phone book in i half. spoke at an elementary school yeah? by myself and yeah. basically did that fuck yes like a, like a one-man panel did that panel intro? Yes. What's up? All this crazy shit. Dude. And I came out and it was like an auditorium full of children. Dude. And later on, they told me like, you had the biggest talk of the day. And I was oh. like, really? <laughs> nah. And they're like, yeah. The fire department brought a, a fire truck and, and nobody even went to see them. Hey, I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you. Hey, there's a reason why the only auditorium lecture that I remember from all of my school was the muscle dudes ripping phone books in half. Because uh, they came out with rock music yeah. and they were fucking screaming. I felt good. I felt like maybe I did change those kids' life. That's because cool. Because I told them good shit. Yeah. I was like, you know... I make videos, but don't think the stuff you're doing here doesn't help because we use a lot of math in our oh, After sick, Effects, dude. you know, we use our, uh, you know, we were very physical, do your PE and all that stuff. But then it turned into like, I have a question. It's like, yeah, what's up? Do you know Markiplier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did a video with him once. What's the next question? Ooh. Do you know SS Sniper Wolf? <laughs> no. Next question. <laughs> Like all these hands go up and I was like, any questions about who I know? Um, I'm, I don't want to, I, I don't know. I, no questions about who I know. <laughs> all the hands went down. And I was like, okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah. That's I, so I, dope. I wish I would have done elementary school. High school is like, they're all trying to be cool. You played on yeah. hard mode. Yeah. It was fucking hard. I did a high school too. Uh, yeah. How'd that go? Was it good? Uh, yeah, I did high school. Uh, I was expecting all the kids to be super like edgy, cool, whatever. They were very quiet, respectful, respectful. Oh. I was actually like impressed. Like, dang, the next generation is super professional. They're going to yeah. like kudos to that school. Actually, it was a friend of mine. You know him. He's a wrestler, but he's also a high school teacher. Okay. And so through our wrestling thing, he's like, can you come talk to the students? And I did. It was me and two other people. And honestly, it was a situation where I felt like the kids here probably know Mega 64 and really want to hear about what I have to say. But the two other professionals that I'm with are like taking over the conversation. Mm. Uh. It was a newscaster and a, uh. and a woman who like started her own theater department somewhere. Okay. And cool. That's awesome. But they were like, yeah, and I just want to talk about this theater department. I just kept saying like, these guys want to hear about YouTube videos. I promise <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. I promise you they want to hear about yeah. what I have to say. Yeah. But it was fine. Um, yeah, I thought the kids were really respectful. Yeah, well, they were respectful for me too. They had no questions and it was like, okay, any questions? And it was crickets. And then the huh. teacher was like trying to like egg him along. I'm like, okay, well maybe something about what he's, who he's 
met or maybe someone about where he's gone with his career and just nothing. It's just like, and then she started asking me questions out of pity. And it's like, oh, I want to die. I oh. want to die. Why did I agree to this? Oh boy. Anyways, you know. Um. Yeah. The, I think I'm just. I just get wigged out about um t- teaching anything or or doing anything that may impart on impressionable people because. I think I still wig out about like when my cousin's kids are real little and I would just show up and like start throwing stuff at them. Like, you know, I'm always that guy. I'm like, ha, ah, hello. Ah, you know, I always act like uh, villains around like Sean's kids. I always act like I'm the. Uh, yeah, Uncle but they Rocco. love that. Yeah. yeah. Rocco sure, comes over. It's sure. Awesome. But I did that to my cousin's kids. And then I remember for like months after they were like, he he won't stop throwing things. <laughs> Um, he oh. just wakes up and every day he throws a, a, one of his DVDs out the window and he saw you do that. And that was like, oh, he's never going to be the same butterfly effect. I, I caused, oh, I set no. him on the wrong path and now he's going to throw things at people when he's older or something. You know, mm. I, I get in my head about that stuff. I really do. That's a genuine thing I have. So, yeah, no, well, my kids love it and they don't say they're yeah, the your boss kids at home. Fight it, fight back against me. Yeah. I am always of the mindset. I'm always like that around kids because. I just always felt like when I was a kid, I always liked the feeling of going up against someone smarter and more powerful or whatever and like winning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, like, like, oh, hey, kids, I could skate better than you. Oh, yeah. Show us. I didn't bring my skateboard, you know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I always felt like that was. No. And that, that they definitely respond to that for sure. Yeah. 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 That's it's great. Uh, I <laughs> Lennon has this thing because I guess. There goes her one time and then Garrett, it was her Halloween and Garrett says he loves Almond Joys and Mounds. And now whenever she finds them, she just takes them from her class to like give us to Garrett. Like she just like keeps having this. Yeah, I, got a, I got an Almond Joy dealer. It's yeah, great. you really do. But like mm-hmm. last time I had one to give to you, but I was so hungry on the way to work. I'm like, I can't hold off. You Sorry. ate my Almond Joy, Sorry, bro? Garrett, I ate the Almond Joy. Oh, I'm and telling I didn't Sawyer. even like it that much. I'm telling Sawyer. It wasn't Sawyer, even I'm that like, good. <laughs> your mail, like Harry Potter, is getting intercepted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Majin Fernie, thanks for your sub. Sorry, I just saw that. Oh, in the Majin chat. Fernie. Thank Does anyone you. in the chat have a question or anything? Before yeah, did we, we go? cover everything that the, that the pre show uh, chat wanted, wanted to, to talk hear about? your opinion on Forspoken. If anybody's playing mm, Forspoken, right, that's right. Um, Is anybody I, playing it? No. Well, I, I picked it up and I was like, I just bought that shit with my own money. I did that. Adulting. That's something I can do. No, I haven't played it. I didn't play it. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, the, the couple people I know that picked it up, uh, I feel like they said the same thing. They were like, gameplay is not bad. It's it, just the script is maybe not for them. Anyone playing High Fire Rush, Rush, the new Tango Gameworks game? What is Sean that? is. What Sean, is go for it. What's it's a no, I didn't know what this was rhythm either. game. So. Uh, it, it, interestingly enough, like I think you shoot along to the rhythm. I don't know exactly how it works. There was a game like uh, similar called Metal Hellsinger, but it was very much like a Doom style shooter. This is like very cartoony. It almost looks like. Um, uh god what was that inline game on dreamcast oh it's Jet got a radio yeah, yeah it, has it, a, it has an interesting style it's to got it. like a cartoony not a cell shaded but it's got this uh, kind of like jet grind feel to it i don't know why um but I, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of good things about that uh but i'm not playing it either i was just curious if you guys are it was people are saying it was announced and released the same day yeah that is and wow. Tango Gameworks is uh, Shinji Mikami's studio, the, the, oh, the creator yeah. of Resident Evil and stuff. I totally oh. forgot. Um, about and that. I really liked uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Was the last game I played from them, and it was awesome. <clears throat> so, yeah, I played a little of that. And that was good. Yeah, I'm 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 back into cyberpunk. I'm back on my bullshit. Oh, are you really? So, what what yeah. was the what was the latest with that? Is that is game it, updated is it and totally well? good now? It is hit as. Mega sixty four says the play date. It's it's oh. ready to play because I've yeah. I've been looking forward to it for years, yep. but I'm not yeah. really following kind of where it's at in development. No, it's it's been ready to play for probably six months, honestly. PS five. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's what I'm playing on. Uh, you know, they've added a lot of like some new guns, some new cars, and like uh different different um quality of life improvements. Like, okay, you can pick these outfits for your character now and. You can quick slot them and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, the fun part is like the game doesn't crash continually now. That's what the big improvement is. Does it is. play like uh, GTA or what's the gameplay like? No, it's it's like a first person, um, first person. shooter. Yeah. Is it open world? It is open world. Yeah. Uh, but in entirely first person, unless you're in a vehicle, then you can do third mm. person. So that's similar kind of to, uh, fuck, what's, what's that game that, uh, that, uh, 
Tiny, the Tiny Tina's from. The oh, oh um, I was just reading the Borderlands. Yes, Borderlands. Yeah, kind of. Not really. Uh, the missions are more like story driven. Um, they can get a little generic. That's what kind of like the overall complaints I think were. The 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 city of Night City can feel a little empty for such a big game. It's like there's like not a lot of pedestrians. People say it plays like Fallout. Yes, exactly like that. That's a great example. Really? Yeah. Can you like uh, freeze and hone in on uh, people's? Depending on your cyberware, depending on the type oh. of upgrades. What kind of that cyberware you... are you wearing? Well, right I'm now? I'm San Devastan uh, Mark Five. You know, I'm slowing down time. I have digital fruit, digital loom, fruit of the digital loom. I, I got stuff on me that like when the enemy sees me, it slows time down for up to like five six seconds oh. so i can fucking run in there and slice heads off with my mantis blades let me ask you i honestly don't mind if a game gets repetitive if the missions are like kind of fun uh-huh i'm invested in the story it's very gritty it's very yeah. dark i felt like even metal gear 5 and uh ghosts of tsushima yeah sean Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Back to you, Derek. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, it was like the same kind of like five missions. Go uh, extract this guy. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like, uh, go get know, this data chip. Yeah, go fucking make up a haiku. And yeah. just like uh, Metal Gear Five, like you can go in. I have a full Solid Snake loadout where I go in sneak mode, silent. I got optical camo, so I can literally like sneak up behind people, okay. headshot with my silencer, and take out dudes stealth wise, and then. I don't raise the alarm and everyone comes at me. I think this is gonna be my next game, Cyberpunk. Yeah, I, I, I I'm ready for it. I've been loving it, and I I got to a point where like I wasn't finishing the storyline because I was doing every side mission. Oh, and now mm. I'm out of side missions, so I'm actually finishing <laughs> the story. Here's a question though: I have two games I haven't played. Which should I play, Cyberpunk or Death Stranding? See, I've got I'm I'm uh, I've got a uh, Bridges head over here. Chat, what do you say, Cyberpunk or Death Stranding? I'm gonna I got I got to know my vote. Okay, that's Ooh. one for Ooh, Steph, Chats. one for Cyber. Oh, this is split. Cyber. Oh, cyber, looks... neither. Whoa, Death this is okay. split. Can we start a poll? It's a yeah, do a poll. Split. Can we start a poll? Ryan, you know how to do that. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, Ryan's Kevin, like Kevin do this. Yeah, Ryan do Kevin's that. looking like fucking Rick Moranis up there with the helmet on. He doesn't know how to Ryan, set it up. If you're there, if you're in the chat, Ryan, and you have the ability to make a poll, I'd really like to see what the official. What should Derek play next? Three minutes. What should Derek okay, play? Thank you. Oh, there he goes. I need to get up there and vote. <laughs> I um, I don't know, man. I I think I would say Death Stranding. Okay, that's, De that's Death, Death, for Death Stranding. Stranding is definitely more low key. There are going to be Derek. If you put like if you started that tonight, you'd go through huge stretches where it's just like you're going to be just walking, exploring, mm -hmm. and and some people go fucking crazy like what well, fuck this. Yeah, but I don't know. I I was like zen out. I was yeah. loving it. I, I don't mind like, that in a game. I like no. exploration in a game. If I was now, if I was like maybe like nineteen and had bought that game with my only sixty bucks and I wanted something more action packed, I could see being like, come on. But I don't know. It is currently now. I, man, it's playing music. It's playing relaxing music, and he's just walking, and I'm Dude. I'm just loving it. But it's not all like that. There's building things. There's you know, but you given the type of game, though, that you like, Derek, cyberpunk is way more of the fully fledged, fleshed out open Action. world kind of game, whereas Death Stranding is a pretty empty map and it kind of just is relying on you to, like, think of stuff to do with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's so open world, right? It's I play because I played it for a little bit. Are you talking about Death Stranding? Death Stranding. Yeah. Yeah. It's open, but like. It, the, like <laughs> everyone, nothing, everyone's it's, it's gone. Barren. They're underground. So it's kind of on you to like. You're, you're kind of by yourself yeah. most of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I could see you going like, yeah, I wish there was kind of more going on. It's an open well, world, but it's a barren wasteland. Cyberpunk yes. is a super metropolitan city full of vendors, side missions, shops, yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you kind of get the best of both worlds playing Death Stranding because there's a bunch of cyberpunk content in it. Oh. The bikes, uh, Sam can get like clothes and shit from the game or like the little, the little tattoo things or the cyberware on his face it looks like we have 10 seconds here and it is close uh, it I is, think is really close damn it's actually extremely close, close. Yeah. Oh, but death the winner is won. death stranded wow thanks that's, for that's, voting yeah okay wow. but i also do think i will say and i'm i'm all in team death stranding here but cyberpunk did burn a lot of people so i do think there's a little bit of a resistance to like root for it still yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, first it had time, a rough, it had a rough first year. The whatever. first time the Sony PlayStation store has ever offered a refund for a game. Yeah. I man, mean, they broke, I still can't believe that happened. They broke precedent with that launch. And, uh, 
That game was a hell of a lot of fun at launch just because of how buggy it was. I mean, I remember you buying it and the person didn't want to sell it to you. Oh, they made fun of me. Yeah. yeah. At the store. I won't reveal which uh, store I purchased it from. Okay. Uh, but they <laughs> roasted me, these two women, at the front counter. And I'll never forget the humiliation and the shame that I felt. at But the now Think who's Geek. laughing? At, when I was at the Think Geek store, oops, uh, they just were terrible. Who's got the harpoon now? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Like, That's right. stops it. <laughs> um, um, I think I'm a bigger Avatar fan than Rocco. I think so, too. I am surprised we talked about it for You're another more hour. more low-key about it. Yeah. yeah. We did bring it up. I, I do feel I, I, th feel... I think I love the movies more, and this guy's into the theme park. I feel, yeah. I feel bad because I do feel like... The last hundred streams I've done, I've either talked about nin the Nintendo Land or yeah. Avatar, and uh, but that's okay. You guys brought it up, so I'm I'm, I'm I mean, not, I talk about my kids, fine. Wow. but uh, <laughs> but I have <laughs> subjected a lot of people to Avatar info, and I, you know, if I'm all my Corsaria says, please no more Avatar <laughs> talk. Please, you don't wanna, I'm and in that case, I'm not going to bring up at all what I built and put together in the other Aww. room just last night oh was it uh no i guess you want to talk I'll, about I'll, I'll talk about what i built and put together in my house was it a tool what tool? three kinder egg toys based on avatar the way of water Ooh. and i got i, I got paya con the tukun i got the uh the little dragon things at the the water at navi ride you know, the saw don't, back don't rock you can't talk about it it's a razorback <laughs> yeah. racerback and uh, the there are, wing. No, there were a couple. Yeah, he's very gatekeepy. There are a couple <laughs> other that I don't remember the names of, but uh, dude, I, I keep them on my nightstand right next to my bed. So every morning, the first oh, thing I see when I wake that's up. That's cool. Hey, Jarek, I'm just gonna yeah uh, change topics real quick, and okay. I just remember this. I don't think you watched the podcast last week when we weren't on it, but do you know that no. we got a nice fancy gift from Tenga? For no. the new year. Oh, yeah. You didn't know about no. this nice new... You know how... We, you're the rabbit, dude. You didn't know about this nice box we got from Tanga that never made its way here? We don't know what happened to it. Someone said thank you, but we never got this fucking box. Somehow there was a <laughs> big package. You're the rabbit. Um, yeah. Sh um, Dudes. Shout can out. Can I just say something? Oh, GG Gla Glacier. Thanks for your sub. I'm married. And you know what? I am too. Yeah. I don't, I don't need the Tanga eggs. Okay. I'm just saying. Wait, they were actually were cu they were cups. What's cups? They weren't cups. What's cups? Okay. What's a drink right. out of? Maybe I do need the tank the full cups. the full not the eggs but the full uh cil you know uh, cylindrical. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, okay, you can have that. So what do you drink out of them? Well, you, speak for yourself. What are you drinking out of? Them? I mean, someone could but fill up yeah, my cup. What's it? Or is it like a baseball cup? Oh, no. bottoms up. When I first met so you, you hold something. Is it a cup you can drink out of, or is it a cup for your? No, jock? it's more more to, more for dispensing. I'm just saying, <laughs> dispensing. My what egg from 2020 is, what is it whoa dispense? the fuck out. No, I mean you. You, you, dispense? you dispense. <laughs> you dispense to it. You well, you guys are so like, I'm married. You leave a deposit. So Sorry, guys. I'm married. I don't need that. Well, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. And I'm all backed up. <laughs> Sumimasen. Wait, you have a long-term relationship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're telling me. You know, when you get married, they say uh, it's, it slows down, the, the romance. So I, That's not true. What? I, I mean, I don't... It's been, We're all different, Sean. We all have different experiences what are you talking about? going through life. Yeah, what do you mean? Talking about how... <laughs> what are you talking about? You've been giving out a piece of licorice lately or what? Yeah. Yeah. Some people know what that is. Although the, the licorice that pieces, they can't do that anymore. Don't, still, they're too big for that. Don't ruin Does licorice. anyone remember that podcast story? <laughs> you still going to the candy shop? Don't ruin licorice for <laughs> yeah, me. Give, yeah, there was... <laughs> Give the kids a piece of licorice. I was what? like, "What?" There was a what? What? There was a story to to get the. Can, to get is it the okay kid, that I'm repeating yeah, this? It's fine. To get the kids to go away for so they have a little private time. It'd be like, how do you get them to like go away? You know, like, like distract here's them. He's here's like, some candy here's a piece a of licorice. It was it was specifically here's a piece of here's licorice. Some red vines. Any like, movie? Would they fight over the Leave one. Leave us piece? alone like, for twenty five <laughs> seconds. I don't know. Here's a that's all you need. All I need. Here's a piece of candy. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. But now. So like in your uh, sex drawer, is there like lube and condoms and like a pack of licorice? <laughs> red, red, I haven't. red vines, like the big tub from Costco. I haven't had to buy condoms since the vasectomy, so I don't even worry about what? that. 
Oh, what, dude? Why would I what? double back? Do you never know? Because you don't Wait, know. You might have. So it you just, might I do so know. So just like air comes out. Does it make a fart noise? Better say it, sorry. It's dust, dude. <sighs> Does it make a fart noise? No. It makes like a wheezing sound, like a balloon that like, you like hold open the balloon. Goes, oh, no. Really? Uh, I hate to break it to you. That's I'm, a fart noise. <laughs> that's a sad orgasm. I'm still, you know. It sounds like a fart to me. Yeah, with me, I'm kind of the opposite. Mine sounds like the, that seismic charge in Attack of the Clones. <laughs> oh, cool. You just. Bam. Bam. Yeah, I'm still. I got that problem. <laughs> uh, I think Rocco could be one of those like fart jesters. What? <laughs> you ever heard about those guys? Google search Roland the farter. Uh, I won't, but let me. You can Wait, let me know so what I'll uh, see. So I did a Wikipedia. You know, I'm into weird shit. Yeah. I did a Wikipedia dive that in medieval times there were like different types of entertainers: singers, dancers, farters. So were, that rules. It's yeah. like a type of jester. Yes. He specializes in farting. Like farter. And he could do <laughs> like he could do like whistle farts. He had this oh. thing. Uh it was like famous whistle for fart? like a jump, a burp, and a fart or something. Like he had a routine. That wow. Yeah. This is better than Cirque du Soleil. Uh flatulist. Thank you. Flatulist. Strike loud. That is the name. Uh, it's a flatulist. So bet that room dang. smelled like shit. Cirque the silent but deadly. Dang. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like modern day flatulist. If well, there's Will, seen, like, yeah. Will the Farter. Will the Farter is a modern day flatulist. Totally. Yeah, he is, yeah. He's tradition. He's like, continuing an ancient tradition. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was featured on uh, what was that Jackass? Yeah, Jackass too, and, and a frequent Howard Stern show guest. Yeah, yeah, totally. Will is talented because yeah. of a surgery he had as a child. He's got two buttholes. Is that what it is? He sucks in air with oh. one and pushes it out of the other. So he's got a Dude, whole like continuous the perfect cycle. He can he can <laughs> the, the, he can rattle them off like machine gun fire. That's perf- like who the, the fuck perfect, is Will the farter? Dude. The perfect organism. I thought like. <laughs> That's like being able to continuously whistle. You know, you yeah. put it out through the nose and out through the mouth all at once. Whoa. Yeah. That's like do some Darth Vader shit and still breathe. Yeah, that you know? is weird. Wow. Get magma, magma up. That's now, I've heard, uh, you're you're not going to believe me. You can Google this as well. Okay. Sure, sure. You can breathe through your butthole. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. I've what? heard that the that you can uh, oxygen gets to your absorb lungs? oxygen yep. uh, in through your butthole. Very, very small amounts. Yeah, you could, but that would be real. You very can, but it would be like amounts. super hard and take a long time to master. <laughs> <laughs> well, the farter has two buttholes. So, oh my god, yeah. oh my god, he's oh, twice man. as likely to do it. Rock is revealing so much. I heard uh, uh, about this thing and happening in Utah right now, people are getting a pubic lice in their armpits. Oh, because what? wait, what the Be- fuck? Because, because in these like Mormon places, they can't have sex. So they're just putting their armpits down. They're just like, people are humping their armpits like that. Oh, Mormons are all <laughs> day, dude. dude, just fuck. But that doesn't explain where the pubic lice came from. The Mormons well, were for- soaking. Now they're fucking armpits. Now the, yeah. What now now they're pitting. Stop these guys. What do they call it? A pittance? Hey guys, just have sex. Just fuck. Them. Seriously. Yeah, I, just they're 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 hum- if you're humping an armpit, yeah. just let's just open the doors. If you're sticking a dick in an armpit. It's time. God is frowning on you. <laughs> yeah, God is already going, eh, this didn't work. Yeah, he's Whatever. like, you're not getting your fucking private planet. Sorry. I mean, soaking was the best idea they ever came up with. Uh, why it, Why move on from Well, that? yeah, Eric says that they think they're tricking God. The armpits which is step down. I always a good never, step. That's always smart. The think thing tricking that God. stumped me the most, like I said, growing up around anyone religious was they would always co- have things like that where it's like it gets a... It, Again, tricking God. You're tricking. If so, if there's a God, He created the universe, but He's like, damn, they they got me on this armpit thing. <laughs> it never understood. And you know, and I brought this up before, like making jokes about, uh, oh, don't make that joke about Jesus. Don't make that joke about God. The Creator of the universe didn't know I was joking. The Creator of the universe. I'm gonna face him when I die, and he's gonna go, dude. What did you say that that joke about the feet? The feet? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what was? It? Like, are you being fucking serious, dude? Oh Bro, no! It was a in. joke, dude. I, I don't know. It came off serious to me. You're you, there's hell. Like I just never. Jesus is people, so woke now. People dude. trying to think they got a leg up on like okay, like I don't know, man. What are yeah. you doing? I'm saying if you want to fucking armpit because you're into that, go ahead. But I can't imagine. Yeah, you if know? you're not hurting anybody, if you're not hurt, if the armpit is intact. But if you're doing it to trick God, yeah. eh, just just fuck. I'm you okay know? with it. You know. Get the speed stick. If humans love loopholes. If if you can pull the wool over God's eyes, go for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
But now yeah. my, my armpit has chlamydia. If you can pull the wool like, over the tax man's eyes, you know, there's one put series some cash in Barbados accounts. There's you know? there's already a series about trying to trick and outthink God, and that's Neon Genesis Evangelion. They already made it. So do you're trying to do that in real life. You're playing you're trying to try two granny knots with a loop and it ain't happening. Loopholes are the way of the world. We got to just we got to get better at them. We're lacking on our loopholes. What deodorant lubricates the best? That's a great question. Um, I got to go sure. teen spirit. I got to go bear glove by Old Spice. It has to be. It would have to be the uh, the gel kind Feel, of deodorant. Feels like you're hitting that bear. Glove. Doesn't have to it's be all wet. No. Yeah. Deodorant's the opposite of lubrication. Yeah, you yeah, you can't use deodorant. Yeah, you actually it want more the you viscosity. Want, you want more odorant. Yeah, you want, yeah, you want armpit odorant. sweat. Yeah, you yeah, want that. Yeah, get lube. That's true. You, you want, want the sweat. stinkiest, <laughs> moistest, smelliest armpit. I want to be able to smell the raunch before you even lift your arm up. That's how I know it's good yeah. Mormon approved sex. It should sound like spilling a glass of milk. Yeah. Uh, Just oh. wet. Yeah, well, <sighs> we'll get more into this next week. I remember <laughs> good Mormon. I remember sex. Ryan, Ryan asked the chat, "What should he get engraved on his uh, AirPods case?" Because he's ordering new AirPods. And my brother, it was the time I was streaming. I streamed with him uh, sometime last year. Get good Mormon sex. <laughs> yeah. No, my brother just out of nowhere went booty sweat, <laughs> and Ryan did it. Wow, booty sweat. To Ryan's that. credit, he got that engraved on his new iP- AirPod cool. AirPod Pros. That's so. cool. Yeah, right. So nice. there you go. Yeah. That guy's got more trophies than me. Well, <laughs> um, let's hack into Bill Gates's computer. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh sure. yeah. Shit. We're diving into the net. All right. So oh, last week, can can I say what while you while you kind of just I just want to say before we forget, uh, for those I've been a lot of people have been asking for doing packs. Uh, we'll in some form have a presence at PAX, PAX East in Boston. Oh, that's coming up. So I just want to get that out there before. Probably should put that in the main show. Yeah, that's okay. After show gets views as well. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Uh, PAX, looking forward to PAX. Last week, we agreed to the terms of service, and that's as far as we got. So now we're going to go. Oh. We gotta enter the password. Oh, oh shit! Oh, what's Bill Gates' password? What is it? Five G destroy the world. Okay, so <clears throat> vaccine. Welcome to bug screens. Is the pop up window? Okay. okay. By the way, this looks exactly like Windows ninety eight, just for reference. Okay, cool. The best, still the best. It, it really was. Yeah, rainy day theme. Uh, Kicked dude, down. there's a bunch of extra like icons in the corner. There's the X. There's the hashtag. There's a star. There's an exclamation point. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things on the spiral. There's a flight log to Epstein Island. All right, so I gotta enter the password. <laughs> By the way, the cursor looks like a dagger, like a knife. It's not a mouse pointer oh. arrow. Oh. This is satanic, oh. dude. Bill Gates changed the cursor on his laptop to look like a knife. Fuck this guy. That's kind of cool. I think it's bad. You, what are you talking? Fuck this guy. I don't wow. know. I'm scared. Wait, James Cameron vibes. Not a badass like Bill. <laughs> yeah, he's too cocky. Okay. Anybody want to guess what Bill Gates' password is? By the way, his username is Bill Gates, and his password is known as the super secret password. But yeah. I have it here. Is it- is oh, it is it password it? one Let's two guess. three? Let's guess. It's not password oh, one good. two three. Apple sucks. No. Uh, Do you know that Bill Gates is in Fraser? Because he at one point calls in talk about Windows. And, like, Dude, legitimately, what? he comes in. All right, I gotta watch the show now. <laughs> and I gotta watch. Did people it. call like, the show? Dr. Crane. I'd people like call the show and ask him for Windows advice, and he goes, "Go ahead, Stephen. I'm listening." That's terrible. I know. <laughs> uh, what's the password, Derek? Well, I want to say that there's a keyboard here. Yeah. All the buttons on the keyboard are exactly the same, except instead of the shift key, it's the shaft key. Oh, oh this guy's no. a barrel of laughs. They literally changed one button on the keyboard. Whoa. Who wrote this book? Is it Bill Gates? Yeah, Bill, Bill, uh, it says property of WM. As far as H. we know. Gates the third. So, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Bill. Okay. That's uh, him. It says Bill Gates wrote this. Okay. His password is <sighs> Rosebud. Oh. That's from that movie. That movie. Puss in Boots. <laughs> so uh, we've just typed in the password, and next week we will go see what comes up on the home screen. I'm scared what we're going to see. I'm um, getting nervous. We did get some of the stuff. 
uh, in today from that we sold on Christmas Cast or Hanukkah Cast. I'm sorry, uh, which I believe will contain pieces or pages of the Mr. Bean book while supplies last so for secret okay. prizes. So that is coming out shortly. Get ready for those. Cool. And see what Bean passage you get. It may be fucked up. That's not my fault if it is. Um, I, yeah, I think I signed every single page that's going out. Hell yeah. So awesome. you'll get a bean page and a Derek signature. How that's, about that? Dude, frame that, that. Pretty Is good deal. With that? Fuck. We're so cool. Well, Garrett had to leave, but uh, I a- have to go as well. So I think maybe we should end this after show. I agree. I agree. It's been a good show. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Hey. February 18th is going to be Olympic Board Games, the third annual Olympic Board Games. Uh, you want to tune in because the People's Champion is going to be fighting for you. What else did we announce this week? Uh, uh, stream Fellas. The Stream Fellas shirt, shirt. is available. Shop.make64.com. And yeah, all of the Mario sweatshirts are up too. The Mario sweatshirts are up. And Patreon.com slash Mega64. There is new content up there each and every week. Please check it out if you want to support us or just be entertained. We'll and be back next week. Watch RRR and our movie club for it. That yes. Is up now. It should be it should be up now. It was scheduled to go up now. So if technology didn't fail, it'll be there. All right. See you next time, everybody. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye.